<laughs> of course, you went for the tidy car. <laughs> you know what they say, the greatest things come in small packages. Fuck yeah. No, it reminds me of like the tiny little... God, what were they called? Hot Wheels back in the day. Like, it's so boxy as well. <gasps> Box like, Akuma. So boxy as well. <gasps> Box Akuma. Box. That's what I am. That's what I be. Oh God, all of my videos start at the same time, so now I'm hearing like three of myself. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. What up? I... This is I'm, doing, be... I'm customizing my car. Oh, we got the same wheels now. Well, they suit. They look like fire as well. Oh, yeah. But yeah, me and Voxy are here. We're going to be playing some Rocket League. Voxy apparently used to play this, hasn't played it in forever. I This is going to be the second time I played it other than warming up yesterday. But I know how yeah, to play yeah, it because yeah. I've watched other people play it, so it should be fine. How are you feeling, Voxy? I am feeling pretty good. I Oh, I am putting a British flag on the back of my fucking car. That's going to be funny. <laughs> you know what? I'll do that as well just to annoy people. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I love being obnoxious. I know, right? We're going to be playing with so many. Oh, yeah, I'm hosting. So we're going to be playing with Americans as well. That's even Let's better. <laughs> okay. Let's go competitive. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, let's rank. Come on, buddy. What are you? What are you, coward? You're not ready to rank. <laughs> we can try that later. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you were excited just to score a goal. A score, a score a, go a goal. God, that's a different thing. Score a goal. Early. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he scored. I wonder if Rocket League is like in. the new Valorant, a better dating app than Tinder. Yo, Valorant, honestly, such a good dating app. A Valorant, a Valorant e-couples. Uh, I think, I think if we're to progress as a, as a society, all of them must be killed. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Too right, many we good, we good, we good. I'm going to be hearing like a classic football announcer in my head this entire time. And he's off. <laughs> That's kind of why I chose this Ooh. game. I was like, this oh, I'm is going to be I'm perfect. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Messi, 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 Messi. You got this, buddy. Nah, no, I don't. I missed it. Oh. Messi misses. What are oh, these Messi, 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 Messi. Oh, boy. Aw, bring it in classic. Let's go with Cantona. I missed. Both of us just missed. <laughs> oh, we won. Okay. They I figured left. they were quitting. Woo! Also, I have my settings way too loud on this. Oh, my God. Oh, I got no, caught up. They were too warmer. scared. <laughs> I always knew I had that dog in me. Oh, God. I've heard that too many times today. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely, I can't stop saying that shit. Every say, <laughs> I cannot stop saying that shit. Every time anything happens, I have like, I have like my um, some of my hometown friends I've been playing Minecraft with, and every single time anything happens, like someone mines a block, and we're like, yeah, he's got that dog in him. <laughs> God, it just gets stuck in your head, man. <laughs> okay, we should be able to go. Thought I had this ready. Um, should we vote rematch? I don't even know what that does. I don't even know what that does either. Fuck it. The goddess. <laughs> I guess that just makes us play against them again. It's like, yeah, begging, like, please come back. But they all left, I think. So we're not yeah. going to get a chance to, to do that. I think that. if you ready up, it will just put us into a different match, though. I don't know. I've never played okay, this. Wait, let me... Oh, yeah, ready. There we go. Three. Oh, I guess two, not. It still does the... Oh, there we go. Salty Perfect. Shores. It sounds like a Fortnite map. It really oh, does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to feel that saltiness on my I got face. That purple drink. Purple dr Oh, let's go. Got that purple. Oh, purple guy car. Thanos car. Do you remember the Thanos car? <laughs> Thanos <laughs> car was disgusting, man. <laughs> it was the best, best meme on the internet at the time. It was like just every single punchline. It'd be like, yeah, why did the chicken cross the road? Thanos car. Thanos car. Oh my god. It was god. a different time. It was a different time. It was a simpler <laughs> time. A happier <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> Are they both and he's AFL? off! Oh. Okay. Hey! Hey, Fucha! He doesn't even have to think about it. I think they were <laughs> just <laughs> delayed there. They just had a brain fart. They were just like, oh, the ball coming. It's like, oh, 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 you'd see Bird being like, oh my god! <laughs> god damn. Okay, you I think him, we're good. You, <laughs> you, you call him Folga over, and I call him Folga Ronaldo. Oh, nice ball. Oh, it's going! It's going! It's over there! Oh no, Bird. Bird, yeah, oh, just Bird, tapped Bird's it out. Going for it. He's gonna play, he's gonna, he's gonna play the drums. Oh. Oh, good. Oh. I got it. 
kind of back on target. Oh, <laughs> oh no, these guys no, are no, actually no, good. No. And I set, I'll set them up. Bro. Oh. Oh, God. So we're kind of going to learn no, to play this game. Harold, uh, oh, no, oh, no we ain't. I got it. Nice one. Saved. Oh, there we go. Line it up for you. Go on, brother. Boom. Yeah! <laughs> yes, right my brother. brother. Watch him go. Whee! Fuck yeah, buddy. Boing. Oh, wait, so are you just sitting there and waiting? <laughs> I was just like, all right. Uh, let me just stretch, get ready for this to just land right in the, right in the fucking little. palm of my hand. Tap a tap a tap a. Just a little tap a tap a tap a. Tap a Just the two. <laughs> I love the beginning of this game where you all just fly at each other. Zero Boing. fucks given. Oh, please, please say that just goes in. And he's off. Oh, oh yes! yes. <laughs> yeah. Lambros, baby. <laughs> what are these guys thinking right now? What is Bird thinking? Thinking, damn it, these guys are pro. Meanwhile, these switch this on pro. for the first time in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Simple geometry. One. <laughs> oh, hey, shit. sorry, I'm on the freeway right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the Uber Bon right here. Oh, oh, there we go. Here we go. Is there like a nitro button or something? Yeah, I, I'm not sure which controller you have. It's B for me. You get like boosts by running I, over I the little a, circles on the map. Controller, so that would be circle. Yeah, it should be I, circle. I mean, we've been winning. I haven't been using that shit. <laughs> I doubt our enemies know how to use it, to be fair. <laughs> oh, shit. Tapped it over my head. I blew somebody up. Oh, oh my nice. God. You got the demolition. No, nah, he's, he's, he's scoring. Uh, oh, burn. Nice you, you one. Oh, imagine fumbling the bag that hard. Yeah, he fucked that up big time. Oh, fly home, bird. Get out of here. Go extinct. The We're going dojo. back in time to get turkeys off the menu. That's right. <laughs> We're going back in time to get turkeys off the menu. Nah, man. Turkeys deserve to be on the menu. <laughs> turkeys don't deserve life. All they do is gobble, gobble, gobble. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, they gobble, gobble all their lives, and then their fate is to get gobbled themselves. Exactly. It's what they deserve. <laughs> Uh, I ain't never seen a turkey like, like give me any reason not to eat it. That's all I'm saying. Honestly, like what like what do turkeys ever do for us apart from bee food? Exactly. They look like tiny dinosaurs, but they act like little bitches. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I never never thought of a. I mean, I mean, all. I mean, yeah. yeah. Ah. Dinosaurs apparently didn't have scales. Apparently, they had feathers. Yeah, so they did actually kind of look like sense. birds. <laughs> and they all had those things like turkeys, like the little things on their neck and shit. That just looks silly and cute to me, but apparently, like the greatest apex oh, predators no. that ever lived had them. Yeah, just like the cocaine bear. <laughs> the cocaine. I am so excited to see that movie. Me it too. Like I really want to see it. <laughs> I haven't gotten around to it yet. Ooh. That's all yours. That's all yours. Don't let Bird have it. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Come on. Nice one. Line him up. Oh, knock him dead. 4-0. Oh, I'm kind of messy, 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 messy. Oh, we're destroying them. And Drogba gets it in. Let's go. Ronaldo! God, I just keep thinking Cantona. That's how fucking old I am. Oh, I missed. I flew straight over that shit. <laughs> it's part of the fun of the game, baby. Ooh. I got it out for you. Oh, you were out. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> that was class. Oh, let's go. That's class. You know, when do we unlock pesky in this game? Look, look in question. Look, look, look in chat. <laughs> look in chat. You can see Carol has sworn to himself twice. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> He's so mad. I turned chat off because I knew they were going to be pissed. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, oh I'm so oh. close. Oh, I missed. Ah. Oh, God damn it. I should have just pulled. Yeah! Oh, so Okay. I really do have that dog in me. What the fuck? <laughs> the dog's getting in our fucking workout today. Jeez. They must be so angry. <laughs> this is like two 12 year olds who are sick. Day. Probably Ooh. sick off of school right now. Just trying to have a chill time. Just trying to have some nights. I'm trying to have a day and they're just getting blasted by two people who don't fucking know anything about this game. <laughs> I didn't know there was a nitro boost until after our fourth goal. 
Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, I exploded him. Carol, you silly guy. Back you were thinking you're going to pull off a fast one on me? You think you're going to pass that away on me? Oh, good block. <laughs> I blew, one up again. blew him up. Had to do it to him. No. Bird. Oh! No. Oh, that oh was no, no, good. no, 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 Not so oh, fast. Oh, no! Buddy. <laughs> Not so fast. That was so close. Oh, that was clutch. I thought we were putting it in for them. <laughs> this point is going to be the only Ooh. way they score. Oh, you got that. No, I don't. Oh, oh. no, you got that. Come on, to the side. Ah, he blocked it out. To the window! To the wall! Alright, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. Oh, uh, you got mind. it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. It's so hard to turn in this. Damn. Alright, now we just gotta hope they don't score seven goals in 18 seconds. True. That would be a problem. You never know, you never know what Bird is gonna be capable of. Maybe he's gonna go back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. You never know what these <laughs> motherfuckers are gonna do next. Did you see they found like a prehistoric bug recently? Oh, one more! No! Oh, oh, he just on, barely kept no! it out. Oh. Right before the end. Oh, you know, nah. <laughs> oh and they blew me up right it? at the oh, end. Oh, they blew you up. <laughs> it's the one spiteful thing. I just saw that explosion at the end. I was like, like, oh, got damn. Three. Let's go. <laughs> crit hitter. New item. Ooh. Oh, you got a new crit item? Hitter. I like I the crit hitter. Let's go. I'm ready for another. I'm ready. I'm ready to keep going. I'm ready for another game. Same. Hopefully with someone better than that. Yeah, felt mean. Come on. Where are all the fighters in this town? Come on. What I want to know is how Bird has such a high score. I guess he was just carrying. Damn. <laughs> Somebody in chat got 40 demolitions in a match. How is my main question. <laughs> You've just been bullying someone that whole time. Yeah, maybe someone let maybe someone let like that nephew on the on the on the on the controller or something like that <laughs> it's like a three-year-old just trying to learn how to play a game oh god oh yama there's a there's a meme that someone made and i cannot stop thinking about it it was like um so it's like a tweet a fake tweet supposedly from um from from shoto saying like everyone post your fa your flags and it's like the bisexual flag mm. and then it's like oh yeah sure and then the next one and then the next is a reply from me saying not sure where you're from but i'm british with a picture of the <laughs> union jack <laughs> That's fucking like hilarious. So much that is something you would do just for the fucking lols. <laughs> oh, lined up. You got this? Ah, a little too fast. Had too much of that dog in me. Are oh, we still playing against Bird? Nice. I'm yeah, Bird's stuck in. I'm proud of him. Oh, fuck. I hit it too high. Oh, yeah, I'm proud of him too. Three wins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now, Bird was actually carrying that team. Who knows? Maybe this guy will be more decent as a partner. Oh, yeah, they almost go. Oh, oh no, nice block. Oh, a save. Messy, 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 messy. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to commentate football. Is just say messy over and over. Just over say over. a name over and over again. <laughs> Ronaldo, Pass to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo. Pass to Messi. Pass back to Ronaldo. You ever Pass watch like to, Spanish narrated soccer? Well, yeah, they call it soccer there, I guess. Spanish narrated soccer. Ha, ha, ha. Ronaldo, 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 Venga, 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 run, on, run, on, run, on, run, on, run, on, run, 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 See, Bird's good. Oh, <laughs> uh, he really did go back in time for the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. Oh, no. It's more powerful than us. He has that dog in him. Oh, I should move myself up so I'm not in the way. Uh, in a minute. Fuck it. Let's go! Brrrr! Oh, bird. bird, he knew. He just knew. <laughs> he knew. He knew what we'd go for. He's been studying our play style. Yeah, he knew his partner was shit, so he was like, nah, I'm going to stop this from happening. Ah, oh, he's so good. I got smacked. Oh, shit. They're targeting you. Boing. Get him out. Get him out. Line it up for you. Come on, tight swan. Come on, tight swan. I'm the tightest swan there oh, is. No, Damn. not quite. A little too slow. Damn, not tight enough yet. That's fine. <laughs> not tight enough yet. Gonna have to keep, keep doing people. yoga. Let's 
There we go. Ooh. Oh, in the air. Nice. Ooh, I don't know what that did, but it felt good. <laughs> it looked too good. Oh, no. Oh, he's ready for it. Oh, no, he's ready for it. That's okay. Oh, that's oh, not okay. Too fast. There we go. Oh, oh I blew up someone. <laughs> that felt good, even though it did nothing. Oh, it's oh. coming right for you. Got it. Nice. Whoa. Let's take it out of here. Yeah. Go, bro. There we go. go. That's it. Burn. Don't you yeah, you Burn. idiot. Woo. Idiot. He touched it in for you. Dumb. <laughs> uh, only make us more powerful, bird. We're playing checkers. <laughs> We've been playing chess for years. Exactly. Four-dimensional chess. They can't see exactly. it coming. Have you seen on Steam there's a game called five-dimensional chess with time travel? Oh, God, no, but that sounds horrible. Essentially, the way it works is it's chess, but every time a piece is taken, it opens a second version of that game of chess where the piece was not taken, and you have to defend your king in every single alternate reality. It's actually quantum mechanics chess. That's fucking disgusting. Genuine. Yeah. Who would play that? I'm, I'm tempted to try it. I don't know how well it would work, but I kind of want to give that a go. I don't think it would really work at all. Easy money! That was easy. They, they kept that in their corner for so We weren't even touching it. They were like, oh, I love the ball. I love keeping the ball in my corner. It's my ball. I love the ball. Poor bird. Bird had to watch that happen. Five-dimensional chess, though, honestly. I'd play that with bird. you. I wouldn't know what the fuck I was doing, but I'd give it a go. Oh my god, you <laughs> killed him! Blew up bird. Blew up bird. No, 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 no fucking hesitation. No dinosaurs today. Oh, nice block too. Don't, don't you... Finish it. You I got think this. his AFK. No, I yeah, feel bad I think he now. Gave up. He already disconnected. Bird. <laughs> bird. No. Oh, poor bird's got another oh, minute no. and a half of this too. Oh, his teammate, his teammate started getting some aggro from his mom. Aww. It's like, bitch, you told me you were sick. Why are you screaming at the console? Oh, he's back. <laughs> he's back. Just when I think they're out, they pull me back in. Honey, I don't like how you sound when you're playing that game. <laughs> I think we're going to have Daddy, to take away stop. your screen time. You. <laughs> That's the secret. It isn't even the kid. It's the dad home from work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to play some oh. fucking Rocket League! <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking 2D anime oh, boys are work ruining all my day! day. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Took the day off to have a beer and chill with my mates. This is what's happening. Fucking bird doing nothing. <laughs> bird oh, doing go. nothing. Uh, get birds off the menu. Oh, turkeys off the menu! Ooh. Messy, messy, messy. You Pastor got Ronaldo. This. I Ronaldo got blown up. Got messy. This. messy, messy, messy. Oh, I missed. Ah, nice save, actually. They did I good, did though. I have that dog in me. Nobody has that much dog in them. Oh, God. Might have that cat in me. It's always a good option. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't care where, what universe you're from. That's got to hurt. <laughs> Come on, one more. Oh, I missed. <laughs> but. No. <laughs> uh... Oh, oh God. I was upside <laughs> See, down. Yeah, you flipped completely upside down. That was great. <laughs> Woo! This game is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> Level five. People in chat like, let's go, Akunya. <laughs> Akunya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, he did fully disconnect. We got an AI in the middle of that. AI got Myrtle. more points than the human. <laughs> Myrtle did their very best. Thank Myrtle, you. thanks, Myrtle. Myrtle. Yeah. Thanks, Myrtle. Or bird. Myrtle Squirtle. <laughs> Dresser and tactician. Let's go. We're doing great so far. Holy shit. Maybe we should yeah. switch to competitive after this one and get our asses kicked. Exactly. Good. Ranked. We're Ranked too good. Rocket League. Ranked me and the boys. Me, <laughs> me and the boys. Imagine that after all this time of trying to find, like, what's my game? Imagine if it's fucking Rocket League. Imagine, <laughs> yeah. We find out that we're actually the perfect combination for this. We're untouchable. We're just like, well, shit, I guess this is the next two days a week game for us. <laughs> I didn't know you could move during this. Wee. 
Oh, they don't even have any opponents for us. That's how good we are. Yeah, they've literally gone right to the very top of the game's MMR and there's no one there. <laughs> All this play right now is just a bunch of kids home from school. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't even give you a real goal at this point. It doesn't even Damn. give you a goal. It's just sad. As long as possible. Double goal. Hey, where's your lunch money, ball? Hey, dumbass, get back in there, nerd. Get in the locker. Hey, do you want, do you want to put your head in the toilet again? You want a swirly nerd? Oh, God. A PTSD. I thankfully survived. I never got a swirly done. <laughs> Same, actually. I think that's a very American thing. I've never actually heard of yeah. anyone actually getting a swirly. But man. Not sound Can fun. you imagine getting a swirly in a Japanese toilet and they turn the bidet on? <laughs> the bidet just goes right up your nose. Just being goes right your mouth by and you're like, bidet. Hey guys, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's okay. We're not going to push your head all the way down. We're going to let the toilet do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they gave up. That's canceled. What the fuck? Okay, we've got to go to competitive. Fuck this. No competitive. Yeah, we want to climb the ranks. Yeah, we've got to. This is our pro arc right here. It's our pro arc. The casual scene didn't have enough for us, and so we need. Oh, we need to get to level ten to play competitive. Bro, I mean, I'm already <sighs> level five. What level are you? Um, I think level seven or something. All right, we're yeah, okay, I mean, yeah, close. You, get... you know, it's okay. not like Overwatch. We got to get to like level thirty-five or something. Oh, like item shop. Cube mode. Use code Voxakuma in the item shop. Wait, actually, I should um, tell you. Population amazing. Great. Yeah, 2v2 actually has the best population. It's just not letting us play it. What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're joining. We got one. In Japan, the swirly Bang. comes to you. <laughs> Damn, chat. Can you imagine, like, because you know how there's, like, the there's like the ass spray. There's also the bidet for, like, you know, for, the front for, end. for, for ladies. Yeah. Uh, for ladies or those with those with vaginas. Um, <laughs> could, could you turn them both on at once? I don't think so. I think it's normally, like, the same nozzle. Uh, like, at least mine. I have a bidet Imagine if you could turn them both on at once. Multi-track drifting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I'm sure it would feel very pleasurable. God, I'm just thinking, of, thinking about what if you what if, what if, what, if, what if you got the, the angle right if you had a if you had a penis and you used the front facing nozzle <laughs> to get it right in the hole. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, imagine, so, yeah, imagine some poor guy like the first time he goes to Japan because in J Japanese airlines they have like uh, the date like Japanese toilets on the plane. They have bidets imagine on the it, toilets. Like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the very first on A and A anyway, which is which is how uh, me and the boys flew to Japan. Nice. So, yeah, no, they 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 were really good. <sighs> but um, the thing about it is, imagine if that's someone's first ever time in Japan. They sit down and they're like, "What's all this?" And they accidentally press the wrong bidet button, and they just so happen to be sitting in such a way that it's like exactly correct. Fuck! Oh, fuck! That was so close. It's exactly correct, and the first thing that ever happens before they even land in Japan is they just get sounded by a jet stream of hot water. That's what I was thinking, is it's like being sounded, essentially. <laughs> hey, tight swan. I wasn't sure if I was going to say it out loud. I was like, do I go there? But yeah, that's We're pretty much sounding Canada, with water. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. We talked about queefing and whatever the male version. I forgot what that was. Quoting. Quoting. I will never remember that. They gave up from one goal. What the hey! fuck? Where are all the fires in this town? Come on. Why is Come on, so England. England. Yeah, I'm no level XP seven. awarded, bruh. Waste of my time. <laughs> I know, right? We just want to level up time. so we can crush more people. What the fuck are they doing to Ugh, us, bro? It's a waste of my time, man. Come on, bro. Give us fighters. Give us enemies. They seemed pretty good as well. They were getting a few good salt, a few good like shots on goal. Yeah, oh, these ones are actual and then one of them friends. Was like, they're playing sorry, off of one gotta, computer. Sorry, they, they queue for my Fortnite match. Hey man, I gotta go. I'm sorry. I don't know how to play this game after all, and I'm embarrassed. These two won't back out. They're playing on the same computer, for fuck's sake. Fluffers. Oh my god, they are, aren't they? <laughs> They're fluffers. They're playing fucking Halo Infinite split screen. <laughs> Halo Reach Forge mode. Spawning in scorpions left and right. Oh god. He scored it for us. Come on, man. <laughs> Very nice. I, mean, well, I want to watch this playback because I thought that was me. Hold on. How, how, which one of us put it in? It was him. It was me. What the <laughs> he, fuck? He, he, technically, you knocked him into it. So I'd say that was your goal. <laughs> All right. I'm taking credit for that one. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh 
nah, bro. They turned it around. No, 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 no. Boom. There's the something little, like, about the little like double jump to the side is so much fun. Yeah. There's something about like a oh. car just jumping straight up in the air that just makes me unnaturally happy. Boing. You just do a little. Woohoo! It's a very, it's a very like man's thing to be happy about. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, every, I I every, oh, no, no, no. That's every, okay. every time, every other, every time I have a conversation with like my mom about action movies, I'll always be like, you know, like, isn't it so great the way that like this crazy thing happened? She's like, well, I don't, I don't really, I don't really get it, and I, and I just kind of realize that the male brain is very stupid, stupid. But to a very, yeah. to a very satisfying degree, to the point where it really doesn't take very much to make us happy. For real. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's Fast and Furious, you know, just like, just like drive a car out the back of a helicopter and then have Vin Diesel throw a, like a, an Indiana Jones grappling hook around a cliff and then use it and did the car just spins around the, the entirety of a mountain and they land on a perfectly safe strip of land out of nowhere that they didn't know was there. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> That's exactly what I would have seen. Yeah. It's so true. Like when it comes to like martial arts movies, especially like if there's a really damaging looking moment, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> just not even it's English. Like really there. Just a sound. It's just a sound that gets added to the combination. <laughs> Everything else going on screen. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, no. oh! Simple geometry. Oh, oh, yeah, tight swan! Nice combo. Tight Eventually. swan with tighter goals. So, seriously, though, fucking. Um, Fast and the Furious has some of the craziest shit in it. Like, the one where they're in. I think it's Ibiza and they're jumping from building to building. It has to be one of the most wild things I've ever seen on cinema. I love Fast and Furious. Just watching just watching them come up with some way of topping themselves. It's like <laughs> it's like the male version of Grey's Anatomy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like stupid, but you just lean into it anyway. You have fun with mm -hmm. it. And it's the fact that like let's take Grey's Anatomy, for example. It's so long running because it's so popular, they need to keep trying trying to find new ways to make it crazy and exciting. And so it's like, yeah, every single character has cheated on or killed every single other character by that's, the end of it. That's how I feel about like every shoujo anime as well. It's just like they're trying to find new excuses to keep the show going it's, it's kind like, of how i feel about who? um, who's gonna get like amnesia and shit not necessarily excuses to keep it going because i it's like a pretty it's like a pretty good show slash um slash manga but dragon ball z as well like they just keep having to make them more powerful yeah exciting now they've got like all the stupid levels of like super saiyan god super saiyan and shit yeah i love how dragon ball fighter z like half the characters are just different versions of goku exactly they're like okay do goku you want the blue hair one the hair. red hair one? Oh, come on tight swan just We're ran that in they didn't even try to stop us <laughs> oh that's true someone in chat named a bunch of cw shows cw shows do the exact same thing like the flash mm. vampire diaries the originals they all go on for way too fucking long yeah God, I remember like in the CW, I, I've never watched one of those shows because they, I don't know, like I don't like superheroes at the best of times, so but this is like superheroes on a budget, so it just kind of feels like it would really great on me after like one episode. I'm but, but still better like, I feel like the only exciting DC part about well. superheroes is the high budget, like high octane action. Yeah, um, the amazing so things that they can we, do with like visual effects and shit. When you take the budget away, it's like, you know, what's left. But I remember seeing a scene, which was like, uh, when the oh. Avengers get together. Whoa! Sick. Simple geometry. That was both of us. That's fucking crazy. Like, look at this shit. I back up and we corner what? knock into each other. Boom, boom. <laughs> that's it. That's it right now. We, we have Land Brothers cybernetically linked. It's like fucking Pacific Rim. Fuck yeah. Just using one brain, two bodies. Let's fucking go. Down, 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 down. That, that, that movie had such a fucking good soundtrack. It did. Oh my god. Pacific Rim's a great film. It really is. Especially mm. considering it is basically just Neon. That Boing. one episode of Neon. Oh, Genesis come on. Evangelion. What is that? Ref. Ah. Ref. Ref. The goalposts are cheating. The goalposts are moving, come on. mate. Did you ever play football, like, as a kid and you had goalposts that were literally just items you put down? Yeah, that, like yeah. someone's shirt or something like that. They or like could slowly a, start to blow away. Like, like someone's, someone's, someone's backpack or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and you could never tell. Slowly, really they just make them a little bit high. smaller or a little bit larger. It's like, hmm. <laughs> These guys are very tenacious for having stayed in it this long. I'm honestly proud of them, yeah. yeah. Oh my ball. god, is that going in? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get to the Blue Forster Man! What are they doing? <laughs> this is just mean. 
<laughs> it was like <laughs> the one guy just wakes up like, oh, ball, <laughs> ball, <laughs> ball is life, ball is life. Oh, there you we know, go. If you think about it, if you think about it, like, 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 uh, sperm comes from balls, and sperm gives life. So really, if you think about it, ball is life. Ball is indeed life. Now we found. Oh, we got that. Oh, we got that every <laughs> we day of the week. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god, this is mean. <laughs> Skull emoji. Skull this, emoji type game. This is probably two actual like biological brothers just having a day trying to bond with each other. This is the first time they haven't beaten each other up in like months. This is the first time they've walked on two legs, by the way, they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. These two brothers are bonding because it's the first time they've met. They just brought one of them home from the fucking hospital. <laughs> Actually, one! Oh, never mind. I take it back. I take it back, little Timmy. You're at least three. <laughs> oh, I tried to kill him. <laughs> three! Take it or leave it. Oh, I missed. Oh, I think I set them up. Oh, oh no, 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 That was karma. That was karma for pulling him a little Timmy. True, true. Mind. We deserved that one. Oh, God, I gave him such a good goal. You almost blocked it, though. I good almost job. did. I was going for it. <laughs> ah, it was only so close, yet so far. This is what happens when you learn to drive before you learn to walk. <laughs> Although, in the future, <laughs> iPad kids, I could see that happening. People learning to use iPads before they you know, actually learn to walk. If I learned one thing from my brief trip to America while I was away, it's that I feel like in that country, people are going to learn to drive before they learn to walk because you just can't walk anywhere. You really fucking can't. It's my, my, my first day the f after, uh, after I woke up in my hotel, the first thing I want to do is like, all right, I'm going to go out. I'm going to find some groceries, get like some milk so I can have myself a cup of tea. I'm going to find somewhere to eat. And then I'm going to go get a plug adapter for my laptop. And I was like, oh, it's nice. going in. I was like, I'm going to get a plug adapter for my laptop. And so I walk outside and I'm like, where is the pavement? Where is the sidewalk? <laughs> and I was just walking around. I was like, where, where, where do I walk? And then I just like, all right, I guess I'm just gonna have to walk across the front of a bunch of people's lawns and pray they don't come out and shoot me. So it's just like la da 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 da, just walking down the road. And then I get to like a giant crossing, and I'm like, a giant road. And I'm like, uh, with the the staples that I was going to on the other side. And I was like, where, where's, where's the cross? Where do I cross? I was like, is there no crossing? Is it mandatory to have a car to get into this fucking place? And then like a 10 minute walk down, I finally saw a little crossing and I was like, okay, all right, fine. And so I went all the way down there and then all the way back. And obviously you walk into a little industrial park or like the commercial park where the Staples is. There's no, there's no pavement in there either. And so I was just walking through car parks like across tarmac where anyone could be driving just looking for something to go and get. It just made me feel very out of place. And when I finally got to the staples, I just felt really like, get in, get it in now. Yeah! It was right there. Oh, we should have had that. We should have had it was that a, one. <laughs> it was a goal in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Handstand. Oh. I'm just flying in midair now. <laughs> oh man, I'm literally like, I'm literally one whisker away from level seven. Rocket pass tier up. Six. Rocket pass. <laughs> oh, Ford. No <laughs> Rocket League, rocket pass. Yeah, we each got so many goals in there. We're just flying through the levels. I just shit <sighs> my ass. Yeah, they have no fucking pavements in America. They just don't care about them. Also, Workable if you have a pavement outside problem. your house, you have to actually take care of it. At least you in certain what? states. Yeah, it essentially belongs to you. So you have to make sure there's like no snow on it, no leaves, no mud. You have to like make sure it's fine for people to walk on. Maybe that's Bruh. part of it. Maybe that's why they're like, no, 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 not on my property. <laughs> not on my property. Yeah. All of those, all those fucking, all of those, like, um, all those Southerners I was walking past, they just had their pavements removed. They didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all they're taking care of is their lawn. Yeah, oh, everyone who's wee. American who doesn't know that in England, like, yeah, the, the, the people, the company, the, the country takes care of everything like that. Everything public. Well, you don't pay I mean, for, like, thin stuff either. Yeah, I mean, to an extent, there are potholes in my hometown that have been there for maybe 60 years. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I didn't say they were good at it. But, <laughs> but they do, they, you know, they, it's the, in, in technicality, that is what, what, what the case is in the UK. Yeah, oh, that's what it's balls. supposed to be, at least. Come on, Tight Swan. Nice. Come on, Tight Swan. God, I can't believe they came back for more. They're brave. <laughs> They probably these these these, mother, these motherfuckers are so fresh out the womb. They don't know they don't know numbers. They think the blue was them. They were like, "Wait, we did it." Hey, they read the word victory, well, and they're like, "I'm hungry." Those idiots. 
went to like, oh, mama, oh, come get me my diapy, my binky, oh, I need my fucking sugar snacks. Oh, that was such a good shot. Oh, such a good shot, but not good enough. God, I'd love a celebratory diaper right now. <laughs> He's ready to get a goal so good, he just catastrophically shits himself at any moment. Uh, and jizz, hopefully. That would be the Oh, uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. That's what the diaper's actually for. Nah, oh, nah, nah, nah. If, you're a if you're a real man, you just do it like that old song and you jizz in, in your, your pants. pants. Do, 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 do. Then there's more cleanup. With a diaper, you can just throw it away. That's true, but then, I don't know. It's like you're going to put your pants in the laundry at the end of the day anyway, so, you know. True. Might as well just, might as well just put them in early and then just go commando for the rest of the day. If you so sat there stiff. playing Rocket League and actively jizzing in your own pants, you're probably not going anywhere for the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah. Like that video of the kid that's actively shitting himself while playing hey, Set Fortnite. me up, set me up! Oh, never mind. I, 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 yeah, he turned it around. <laughs> I, had way too, I had way too much faith in that interaction. I wouldn't have been able to do that either. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, know no, how to set up. No. I only know oh, how to hit yes. forward. No. Don't you fucking dare! Yeah, I kept Boom. it up. Nice. Messy, 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 messy. Oh, messy, 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 messy. Diaper. Messy, 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 messy. <laughs> Two. Come on, Voxy, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh no! He did so good, actually. That was a really good block. Go. Uh, oh. Driving backwards like an idiot. Two. <laughs> don't you, don't you dare, don't you dare, bro. Oh. oh. And I missed. I threw my oh, oh, nice block. Boom. Set you up. There you go. Oh, you went straight at it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Yeah, times one. Yeah. Way. Three nil. Hat trick. Let's go, baby. Hat trick for the boys. <laughs> Get your tits out. Get your tits out for the lads. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Some of the football <laughs> charts are so horrible. <laughs> they are. That's the UK. Yeah. It's all about getting drunk and making an ass out of everyone. <laughs> getting drunk and just being morally reprehensible. <laughs> all part of football. Oh. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm straight chilling. Yeah. Oh, we Beautiful. we just stood there and waited for that. They were, they were just like, no, stop it, stop they it, stop it. So we were like, panicked, come, to yeah. come to papa. They're like both jumping around everywhere, just trying to touch it. Poor kids. We're too good. Cheers. <laughs> Little too high on that one. I think the funny oh, part my... has got to be when we find out like somebody in chat is like, yeah, I was the one playing against you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Next time, don't be bad. <laughs> Damn! It's okay. Eventually, we'll get a cat gaming level player in here. And yeah, cry. and then I'm gonna be like, <laughs> get to that point where we can't even touch the ball. Oh! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh shit! Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> look at us! <the> <laughs> I just went right below it. That was like just the, that was the most awkward interaction. That was like when the when the bomb went off in the Jackass episode of Wee Man went flying. Oh my god, I love that gift so much. <laughs> the amount of time that made you laugh was hilarious. <laughs> you killed a child, Foxy. <laughs> My, my my recitation of, of some classical music is unfazed by the knowledge that I've just blown up a child. <laughs> if anything, that adds to it. That yeah. was a very dramatic moment. You're like, oh, 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 Vox, you just killed a child. <laughs> <laughs> Your okay, point. Come on, come on. That was the plan. It was a feature, yes, not a bug. that was the plan, obviously. Excuse me. Oh, good save. <laughs> Ah, oh shit, that's on target. <gasps> oh, stay on target. No, got they got one. They I'm got one. Every time I say some reprehensible bullshit, they score. I think that's just God being like, all right, settle down, lad. It's fine. Yeah. They get settle the spirit down, of Shaggy in them at that point and just have to get revenge. The which is fair. Of Shaggy. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to send you to the fucking Shadow Realm Scoob. <laughs> Love all the memes. Like, come on, I'm, I'm about to you. I'm feeling so totally powerful, dude. Go! Oh, shit. Oh. I don't know how to turn. Complex the ball. geometry. I need to see. Oh, more. I scored against us. Rut row. Oh shit. It's all good. Okay. Got it. Safe. 
Messi, 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 Messi. Not Messi, because it's clean! Yeah. Ronaldo! Ronaldo! <laughs> si, 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 si! I love this game. This game's stupid. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is surprisingly a lot of fun. I have I have memories of like the foot when this game first came out. I used to play a bunch of my friends from back home, and uh, I, I remember like in in like duos or whatever where like custom games you would play. I would always lose, and so I just got bored of it after a while. But now it's like I don't know when you're up against only five year olds. It's not so bad. <laughs> Come on, get in, get in, you Unlocked twat! Ultra instinct, you twat! How dare you? That was my moment. That was good. Ah, <laughs> oh. it's because you visited America. Oh, look at us in the air. It's because you visited America now, the land of the flying cars. <laughs> I didn't see any flying cars. I did see a lot of monster trucks, though, to be fair. I've got a chicken to put on my head. Fantastic. <laughs> For a second, I thought that you just remembered that you had, like, a chicken you needed to cook in, like, the <laughs> fridge or something. And it's like, this man is just... I was going to say, I've got a chicken I need to put in the oven. And so you were just, like, halfway through a game of Rocket League. And then, I have a chicken I have to put on it and just get up and go and cook Come to it. think of it. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is he... Oh, yes, Australia. What is he cooking, but for real, for real. Oh, shit, they actually came back. God damn, they have balls. Let's dude, take look, them. They, dude, look, they added fucking Australia as a map. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this does look like the place the Junkrat would come from, to be fair. <laughs> There's two things that solve every problem. Money and explosives. <laughs> That was my way of saying, are you sure you want to keep playing against us? <laughs> right, as I said, explosives, the ball blows up. Yeah. That's incredible. Oh, welcome to Australia, bitches. <laughs> it's Roadhog time. It's Roadhog time. Oh, boy. Nice. Why do I feel, why do I feel like why do I feel like we would be like those two like I'm Junkrat and you're Roadhog like oh, I'm sure. I, like I'm just the I'm just the, the 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 energetic one who's like why don't we do this and you're just like mm, sure oh do e it. easy <laughs> money <laughs> oh my Ooh. god you the crit header let's go <laughs> that poor guy. Orange team, why do you keep coming back? They must Ooh, be everything's coming up, exploding. Exploding. Whoop. I do love that line, man. Junkrat, mm. like the voice actor goes so fucking hard. He's got, he's, he's always had some of the best. Although to be fair, I now think that like, I think he's tied. The best voice actors in, in Overwatch, I would say, uh, Junkrat. Sigma and uh, and now Ramatra. He's got an incredible voice as well. I do love Sigma. Sigma always sounds like he's about to break into song. Yeah, or burst into tears. <gasps> what <laughs> is that melody? I love that line so much. Yeah, that sounds like he's about to start an opera in the middle of everything. It's it's great to have a character who can sound so calm but also so like absolutely mad and unhinged at the same time. Nice. You I'll line him up and you knock him dead. Yeah, I don't think I even needed to hit that. I think you had that. <laughs> but I was just like, mine. <laughs> the way I flew. <laughs> like, no, my brother's going to score. It's mine. <laughs> well, you know who else from Overwatch is really good now I'm thinking about it. I think Widowmaker um, is... Not a lot of people talk about her voice acting, but she's got like a very spirited sort of like under underplayed performance. Like, it's that moment I knew I felt alive. Like, I don't know. I, th I think she really sells that character super, super well. She is very good. Whoa, that's me! All right. <laughs> that I'll was take definitely it. an own goal, but we'll allow that. <laughs> she definitely does. She kind of, like, she feels like the voice actors from Valorant to me. Like, the Valorant ones, they don't get as characterized. They seem a bit more calm all the time. But they also mm. always, like, have very, like, realistic sounding voices. That's Widowmaker yeah. to be for sure. Well, they almost scored instantly. I'm proud. To be honest, I kind of feel that Valorant voice acting had an impact on um, Kiriko's voice acting because she talks like a Valorant character. She does, actually. She just sort of sounds like a very ordinary person, you know? Yeah, someone you'd Don't underestimate the youth. Boy! Damn, Voxy! I've got a few tricks. I've got a that's few why, tricks. That's why I'm glad that Ramatra has such a convincing villain performance. I don't know if you've ever played Elden Ring, but like the first main boss is voiced by the same guy, and he's probably got some of the, I would say, probably the best voice acting in Elden Ring as well. 
I haven't actually, no, I've never played Elden Ring. You've really got to give it a go. I've gotten back into it. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Come on, guys. Guys, <laughs> we're not even at half time. Happen. We've scored six times. Come on. Jesus. Eight seconds for that goal. I think the NSPCC Oing. are going to be calling me soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we won. Yeah, they finally they gave came up. <laughs> After six goals. <laughs> Whee! I just blew out a screen. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> it's getting Open a lot harder button. to level now. I'm only like it is. Yeah. Right. They give you that early dopamine for the first five levels, and then they're, and then they're like, "All right, you're on your own now." Yeah. Suddenly, you have to take a while. You show those six-year-olds who's boss. We will chat. We will. <laughs> yeah, they haven't even got oh, any enemies will. for us right they've now. Gotta, they've got to learn what to deal with when they're online at some point anyway. You True. Know, they've got to learn eventually. They're lucky we've joined. We've turned voice chat off. Imagine if they could hear us narrating like this all the way through. <gasps> this dude's on a team. XD team. Let's go. Okay, he's going to be good. <sighs> all right, he is going to be good. The oh, XD gonna get team. is kicked. The team made up of former DashCon attendees. <laughs> X dash con. Oh god. I didn't even think about the sense it made. I just figured that Tumblr people were the kind of people who say XD a lot. Then again, you did say XD to me when you went when I said I was gonna be a little bit late. I say XD all the time, unironically completely. <laughs> oh. It's a nice way of saying that of like sort of justify of like it's like it's like the same thing as emojis where it's like all right I want to make absolutely sure they know I'm joking so I'm just going to include a little smiley face. That's but exactly it. Sort of, I basically use it as like a slash J kind of thing. It's my way of saying hey don't take it too seriously. I'm just like I don't give a fuck. Oh nice. Nice. I'm dribbling. I'm dribbling. I'm dribbling. I'm He's dribbling. Got it. Yes, let's go! No, please, How please, that please, please! Oh, oh okay. god, that was the that was the that was the rawest shit I've ever done. That oh, was he's got the that dog in him for two. a solid three seconds. Look at this. Two. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Uh, Boom! Two. Jeez. That must have been a Boom. terrifying messy, messy, messy. moment for them. Got a messy, got a messy, got a messy, got a messy. Ah, yeah, these guys are actually good. They don't let you get first hit. Messy. Messy! I'm dribbling. I'm dribbling. I'm dribbling. You got this. No! Oh, damn. I don't got this. That's okay. They don't got it now I want, either. Like, I want some kind of census taken, right? On the amount of kids' films where a character says, I got this! And then it goes wrong and they say, I don't got this. Literally, yeah, the same thing. Just, no! I don't got this. Oh, huge tuna! Huge tuna. Proud of them. That was just well done. Messy, 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 messy. Come on, prone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you murdered him. I thought it was me. I thought it was you. Nah, you murdered him. <laughs> no. Whoa. That's a good save, and it's also a good setup. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. oh. Damn it. Oh god, now they're in a little low. Danger zone. Highway to the first hey, loss of the day. Oh yeah, we're oh, gonna get crushed man. by these guys. I knew as soon as I saw the team name, I was like, ah, oh, we're fucked. I was like, this man Here has played go. this game probably longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> this man was on a team. He's been playing this game for like three years. Oh, they're both staying in goal. Yeah, they're... Oh. It doesn't fucking work! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they have good offense, but they do not know how to defend. I need to see what happened he, here. He does not have that dog in him. <laughs> he knocked it in. He was coming he out to the corner. Oh, let's go. Oh, bro. All right, you know what I'm going to do? You go for the ball. I'm going to go straight past and try and kill one of them. I missed one. <laughs> Shit. All good. It's kind of a wild interaction. There we go. No, 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 oh, damn. Mind. They know damn, how these control it. Jeez. I think they gave us that last goal. <laughs> they were just like, yeah, let's... Well, if they stay in goal again this time, we'll know that they're, like, fucking with us. Yeah. Going for the ball. We'll leave in the ball. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, Maybe nice. they are just bad. They're just that good. Oh, no! 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 Oh, this boss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. Yo, he even has a special goal thing. 
He does. That shit explodes. Oh, look like at, a yeah, no, over. his, like, um, his, his name tag, like, his banner is, like, really fancy. This man has been playing this game for a while. Yeah. They finally changed our elo. They're finally like, all right, these guys have won a couple of times against a bunch of, against a bunch of babies. Let's, uh, let's put them up against uh, a tryhard now and just give them a taste of their own medicine. Put them up against actual pros. You got this, Voxy. Oh, this rat bastard. Ow. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, this is my time. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, damn it. Unless. Oh, man, if I, if I just uh, had a little, little bit of a higher jump. He's got that in. Yeah, he's doing that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, that the guy was waiting for a good block. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. No! Dude, oh, he did that all by himself! Yeah, with, like the, the, with, like, the nitro boost all the way around. Oh, my God. Damn. This guy literally has tournament winner on his, um, on his thing. Oh, my God, he does. Season 9 tournament winner. And we're in Season 9. He's a current pro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's not a good angle. I don't know how to defend. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Got it around them at least. Oh my God, look at that. He hit it with his body. Oh no. Nice block. We're good, we're good, we're good. Nope. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> They could still be huge seven. Tuna, they huge tuna, huge tuna. What are you doing to me, brother? What are you doing to me, huge tuna? <laughs> They're just sitting there calmly like, we got this. <laughs> oh, man. I'd imagine most of the people playing Rocket League are under the age of 15. But it's the 15-year-olds who are the best. Exactly. They have all the Those time. Those are the ones the with world. the better reflexes. And they don't have enough money to buy other games, so they just master one game. Like, I remember that. My game was Fear 3 back in the day. <laughs> no shit! It's okay. We got this. Oh, one, one of them's gone AFK. He doesn't even need to play anymore. <laughs> no, he's not even AFK. He was just waiting. He knew. He was like, let's let them pick around the ball for a little bit. They'll feel a bit better. Jazz it. left on the clock. Jazz left on the clock. Jazz. Oh, yeah. Jazz. Jazz. No. Nice. Oh, How is this God. man so good at managing his nitro? Oh my God, he's always got some available. Seriously, and it's on target. Fuck. Oh my no. God. No, dude. <laughs> the beginner's luck Seven has officially two. run out. Yeah. We're finally playing actual players. They know how to use their controllers. They put us in this elo and they're like, oh, so they're not good. All right. And now we'll never get out of this. We'll be stuck in this forever. <laughs> I stuck just losing for the rest of time. We went from hope in the dark to stuck in the abyss. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Oh, we went from hope in the dick to stuck in the ass. That's probably better, to be fair. Oh god, fuck this! I got it! Yeah, yeah. baby! Alright, 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 all right. We, we can do this. Two, four, four, eight, five goals in 12 seconds? Yeah, 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 yeah. We just keep it in the air, then it can't run out of time. Just keep it in the air, yeah, yeah, yeah. Header, header, <laughs> header it. Exactly. Then we win. Well, yeah, win a penalties, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> never. You never get penalties. Imagine penalties in this game. It'd be fucking disgusting. Who the fuck would be actually counting this down? A lot of people in the crowd, to be fair. That's it. Who, like, why Why are they counting it down? They know we've lost. <laughs> like, I wonder, can they get, like, four more goals? Oh, my God. Look at, like, their trails and shit. Yeah. The worst, the single worst part about, um, about losing is not getting to, like, flip around at the end. Yeah. I'm going to watch them flip around and show off their cool shit. At least we got some good experience out of it. Mm, I just pushed you guys closer to be able to do competitive. Oh, a huge tuna stuck around. <laughs> He's out for blood. 
Oh, and another one with a team name. <laughs> SKPK. I wonder what that stands for. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to learn how to actually clear the ball we away. We've still got a huge tuna. Yeah. He stuck around and we've got another one with a team name. So he should be fun as well. <laughs> yeah, the other guy with the team name was like, he's not worth my time. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, Volga Ovid killed in action. Oh my god, just like real life. Let's go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, nice. Is that going to go in? No. Nah. Close though. All right, I feel slightly more prepared this time. Yeah, I think this is okay for now. Oh, lined up. Ah, fuck, too fast. Ah, oh, just about. Nah. Flip and jump. Damn it. <laughs> if that could actually work, that would be so badass. I want to be able to flip off the wall and knock it away. No. Oh. oh, no. No. no! <laughs> Shit. It's so painful when you see it going in and can't do shit. It's like you just can't do anything. <laughs> They've got that same turn it up, turn it up, turn it up song playing like fucking oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, That's gonna make me so mad by the end. Oh man. Yeah, they actually have a pretty good soundtrack in this as well. They do. Okay, okay. Fuck. Still don't get the jumping. We're gonna take a break for half time. Okay, Everybody yeah. come back in a minute. Those fog oh. gates won't hold forever, you know. We're doomed. Doomed. I can't believe you made us watch that movie. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it is a good film. It's the first time I saw it was on your watch along. Yes. Slowly. Maybe. Slowly. <laughs> maybe. I, d I don't know what the enemy team were doing during that, but okay. <laughs> I think they, I don't know. They just had some other idea. Are the only, like now that at this ELO, are the only goals we're getting pity goals. <laughs> I mean, King of Fusions was just sitting there in the corner, so quite possibly. <laughs> I'm not going to say no, though. Fuck it. King of Tuna deserves to die. I will take it. I want to keep this elo. I want to keep an elo I don't deserve. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, they won. Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to put it up 2-1. MVP. Yo, Woo! we beat Tuna. We're too good. <laughs> Level eight. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> you know what I think it is? They're, they're like, all right, these guys suck. I've got a turkey I could put on my head. I've got the turkey now. Yeah, that's what I got, like the roast turkey. <gasps> grease monkey! Yo. They've given me the grease monkey achievement. They're letting you have it. They know. Grease monkey. <laughs> that funky monkey. A win is a win. Yeah, we deserve that. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, oh, oh God. They both switched to XD. Oh, no. Wait, huge tuna was XD all along? Oh. <gasps> Huge tuna, how could you? No. It's the same guy back again. The yeah, guy who the wiped the floor with us last time. time. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're watching the stream. Or like, I can't believe that Huge Tuna just put the XD on. Like, that has to be. Hmm. That's weird. Not like you could stream. Oh, Huge oh, Tuna left. left. Damn. He left. He's not ready. He doesn't feel like he, he's, he's, he can stand up there with the other guy. Oh, we're playing with an AI now. And it doesn't oh. look like Prone is going to play with us either. <laughs> oh, no, he's playing. Oh, damn. Oh, they got a real player for the other player as well. Uh-oh, Wizard Sloth. That sounds That's terrifying. That's a good name. That's a good name. Yeah, Wizard Sloth, that paints an image. Oh, go in, go in, go in. No, balls. In fact, that doesn't just paint an image. That paints a smell. I can smell <laughs> Wizard Sloth. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it's like when someone it's like when it's over the internet someone says they don't wash their pillowcases and you can just smell them immediately. Yeah. No. Damn it. No. I hate prone crestral. Fucking tournament winner. What does he smell like? He smells like tree sap and What's that thing that koalas do where they like always slowly poop themselves? That's what I imagine wizard sloth would smell like. Always slowly pooing himself. Oh, he waited oh, this for motherfucker, you to go he just for stood it. next to it and waited for yeah. me. This rat. I've never seen ratting in a game other than Valorant. That was wild. <laughs> oh. Damn it. 
Oh, underneath me. Over the top of me. I went underneath it. Backflip! Did nothing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> this, this, this rat! This dude is so fucking oh, good. Oh, God. Oh, man. No, thank you for that imagery. You're welcome. Now you can smell it, too. <laughs> the higher up you go, the more ratty this game gets. Oh, fun. This is fine. This is fine. I'm not emotionally ready to get ratted like that when I'm just out here fighting for my fucking life and they're like, Lumo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost let us have a goal. Oh, man. Damn it. My life got flipped, turned upside down. They're really good at the counter attack. I feel like that's what late game for this is. It's just letting them almost score against you and then turning it around completely. And just kind of, yeah, deciding what you think the enemy team is going to go for. Are they going to go on defense? Are they going to be offense? Whatever. And then, you know, seeing which counters which, kind of like rock, paper, scissors, but also rock, paper, scissors, where you need to have, you need to be able to drive a car and hit balls. <laughs> yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, but with explosive engines. Oh, I blew up. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> it's okay. They're making us more powerful. You'll strike no, me down. I will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Nice block. Oh. Come on. Give me this. Give me this. Ah, oh, man. Go, you take that. See, I can't do that shit where they go up the wall and hit it away. That's insane. Ah, oh, come on. Got it. They're so good. At least Foxy's good. Vox is I'm, getting better. I'm, I've just, hit my I'm, I'm just winging it. I'm winging it. I'm winging it like a bird. <laughs> God, you've going back in time. Going, going back, back in time. time this first Thanksgiving to, to get turkeys off the menu. Turkeys deserve Woody Harrelson said that. Oh, Woody Harrelson, that oh, Woody Harrelson said that? Yeah, Woody Harrelson was the big bird in, in, in Free Birds. Fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine We're that man saying that shit. The first Thanksgiving <laughs> to get turkeys off the menu. No. That's, going in. That's in. That's in. Oh, it's out. It's yeah. out. I've never seen something more out. Oh, man. I've never seen people control the ball like oh, that. God. It was like disappointing sex the way we weren't sure if it was going to go in. <laughs> just throw it down a corridor and hope it works <laughs> out, man. Just, just me asking from the other side of the pitch. Is it in? <laughs> is it in? Oh, it's out. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's, it's out. Oh, it's, it's out. It's definitely it's out. Always it's always prone Kestrel, too. It's never the other one. Ah. Uh, this is fine. <sighs> yeah, I heard you talking about, like, wanting to do um, video making stuff with your 3D today. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm really... Um, It's an interesting prospect. We got, no! Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> oh, that's how that feels. <laughs> it's an interesting idea because, you know, obviously the way the 3D works is they've got like all of those VR cameras and stuff. So technically, I figure you could mimic real filmmaking techniques and stuff. And so I, I'm, I reckon what I would want to do is the only barrier really would be communicating with like the crew and stuff because obviously oh, they'll all be, speak Japanese. Yeah. So unless I had someone to translate for me or I learned how to speak Japanese, it, it would be difficult. Oh my fucking God. Shit. I couldn't even <laughs> get that out. This but I'm very, but I'm very like, I'm very interested in like the possibility of it because essentially the big thing right now is that like I love, you know, in ASMR, even if it turns like super sexual, it's definitely an opportunity to like make like a little almost movie in a mm. way, even though it's all improvised. So I feel like with 3D, you could like write a script, have like a set of characters do a scenario that isn't just like, that's maybe a step beyond like, oh, VTube is doing something funny, which nothing wrong with that. Like it's wonderful content, but I'm also like, let's see how far we can push this, you know? Because it's like essentially just all motion capture, which is all, which is always pretty cool. Yeah. So it is like yeah, exactly the same thing. You'd have the cameras, you'd have the setup, you'd have the 3D environment, which counts as your set design. Get it, get it. That's get the best it, thing get as well. Get, 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 get. We finally got a goal. <laughs> I think Phone Kestrel has just given up. Phone Kestrel just went to sleep. Is like they're not bringing this back now. <laughs> But yeah, I really I mean, like Listen, that if idea. they both went AFK, we could technically take them over. I mean, yeah, we have time. If they really weren't playing, we'd be like, okay. <laughs> oh, let's go! No! Oh, that was a beautiful block. Oh, I can't fucking aim. <laughs> 
Oh, he's carrying it in for <laughs> Your Honor, Freebird was playing. <laughs> I had to do what I had to do, man. It was Freebird. Oh, that's going in. I think. Oh, the left. AI saved it. Are you shitting me? We would have had a goal, man. <laughs> Yo 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 Yeah, I was thinking about it and that's actually something that might make it even more interesting for you when it comes to filmmaking in 3D. You can even like with enough time, you can hire people to like design the 3D set for you however you want it. Yeah, totally. Have more and then interaction that way. Maybe, maybe work with a... Oh, that, that dude just took off. Maybe work with a <laughs> script writer. You know, if, uh, if other people have an interest in acting, we can get them involved and stuff like that. There's like, there's a lot that's possible, even if it's just like a one-man show, which with mm. and, which with the ASMR is definitely what I've been doing this whole time. But let's exit to main menu first and try to get away from Tuna. <laughs> and try to get away from these guys. Yeah. God damn. Close to getting competitive as well. <laughs> Hit the field. Yeah, I think that would be really good for you because, like, you've always been into filmmaking. So, oh, definitely. I think that would definitely be a good next step. Get to work with a lot more of the JP side as well. Yeah, that would be fun. It's one of the reasons why I'm definitely interested in learning more Japanese. It's just that I've never really been very good at learning languages. So, I feel like it's the kind of thing that would take me a long, long, long time. Mm. Well, there's actually a lot more of our JP senpai that speak English than that actually interact with us in English, to be fair. Yeah, like Sequoia Senpai is really good in English. One of the new girls, Sophia, like she released mm. an English voice pack, so I have to imagine she's good at English. Mm, true. There's a lot of people that just <laughs> don't really... <laughs> probably are just not super comfortable with like speaking with us because it's like a new person kind of thing. Mm. New person. Oh, no! dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That was my bad. Right. I went straight to the corner for boosts. These 50, guys, 50 these guys have, um, these guys have a team as well. Oh, are they on the same team? They're not on the same team, but they're in teams. Oh, God. So, yeah. you know, they've definitely dabbled their toes into this more than we have. It's okay. We're going to get better as this goes on. Exactly, exactly. We're going to improve. Improvise, adapt, overcome. And that's another goal. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> no. They might be shy. Yeah, that's part of it. It might be shy and it might just be like... There's a greater separation between Niji Sanji waves nowadays. N not waves. Mm. Between like the different Niji Sanji branches nowadays. Yeah, definitely. Because EN has become so big, it does kind of feel like its own thing at this point. Yeah. It's definitely been amazing to have watched it grow so much. Yeah, because back in the days, so we were such babies. It feels very like, yeah, we didn't really know how to deal with anything. There was like a lot of people were, you know, even the your senpais, you know, people who'd been there for longer than you had didn't maybe didn't know as much then as we do now so yeah. it's like it's it's really it's really like a strange experience to see how much we've grown god damn it true Whoa. now we've got so many kohai at this point it's wild we do Hard the waves they just the keep more. getting bigger and bigger the amount of kohai is it just keeps expanding yeah the six and six thing was wild I'm sure it felt wild for everyone when the boys everyone joined else, as well. It's like we they saw, like the it's like they saw um, Lazio Light and City and they're like three. Oh, great. You know, uh, that's great. Etheria, wow, we get four this time. And then Luxie, wow, five, six. And then it just nice. keeps going and going. Yeah. Get, guys, get ready for wave, for wave eight. Ten new people. <laughs> get ready for wave, get ready for wave nine. Thirty new people. All in a row, baby. The year is 20XX. Every single human being on Earth has become a Niji Sanji YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, Niji Sanji wave 422. That's <laughs> going to be the one where it's just the entire population of Australia. We're going to get a real boost in popularity when we get to wave 69. I reckon that's Riku Tazumi's <laughs> plan. I reckon that's when Riku Tazumi debuts. Uh, oh man, they're so good with the The aiming. amount of people who are just... The word nice is going to trend. Nice. <laughs> nice. Although, thankfully, that probably won't be until like 2045. <laughs> I would hope. I was going to say, that won't be at least until 2024. <laughs> I mean, honestly, who knows? Who knows, man? Oh, good save. That is why I back up at the beginning chat. Oh, you've got this, Woxie. You've got this. Here I come. Ready or not. Oh, uh, yeah, boy. Oh. How was that? <laughs> Um, 
There was so much luck involved in that. <laughs> Just slowly bounced in. Yeah, Noah put it in for us. Let's go. <laughs> Noah! <laughs> Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Noah. We're proud of you, buddy. Ah, boing. Oh, shit. That no! Okay. Ooh, we're good, we're good. If that went in, I might have cried. That would have been beautiful for them. Oh, 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 yeah, it was like an orchestra playing oh, in my mind. Okay, I blew him up before he could Saved score. by the explosion. Oh my god, that was great. Damn. Let's go! That's going in! That's not in. That's oh, not it's in. going in! Oh, it's not in. <laughs> but it might have been. Oh, uh, what if no, I had that dog in me? No! Imagine. Okay, flip Imagine a world where there I was worked. no murder or theft. This would drive me mad. <laughs> Imagine a world where everybody was happy. It would be boring as shit. We need our suffering. It's funny sometimes. Oh, nice. I want mommy, I want milk, I want to be held, you I want to be comforted. Yo, Vossi! And if you don't do not do these things for me right now, I will ruin your life. Boing. Is that... That sounds like ASMR, I am a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want mommy. I mean, that's like... I've, okay, I've done two of those now. It's that or it's like the... um. It's the one where it's like fucking, it's just like, oh, let me, oh, I'm walking here. Let me get my, let me get my big baby. Let me get my diaper right now. Let me get my binky. Uh, oh, I haven't had my, I haven't had my meal yet. Oh, put me in the fucking high chair. Where? <laughs> where? Where? Personally, personally, when I become a dad one day, if I have a kid who talks, if I don't have a kid who talks like that, I'm returning it. I'm calling the, I'm calling the stork helpline and I'm just having it sent home. I'm sorry to say you might be disappointed on that one. Ah, uh, never say never. Never say oh, never! I literally went in and bounced out. In and out. In and out. In and out, just like when I go to get the milk. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, he just struggled that in. Yeah. All right, well, it's closer this time. I mean, it's not like we're getting absolutely demolished. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I think we're learning how to play this game bit by bit. A little bit. It's all about conserving your boost for the right moment. It's mm. all about kind of being, you know, I'd, re I'd I'd say most of it is probably just mechanics. Like most of it is probably just practice and being able to go where you want to go at the right time. Yeah, knowing how to actually control the ball is a big thing as well. Yeah, so many things with, like so many goals, like don't get saved because you're just scrambling around trying to figure out how to get over there in, in the right way. Yeah. So someone who knows how to do it is definitely going to... God, I always go too early. I always end up flying right under the fucking ball. Yeah, that chat, he's always coming too early. No, that's Luxium. Oh no! The Minutemen. <laughs> the Minutemen post. The amount of time I had that saved in my drafts. He was ready for it. I had that fucking tweet fucking bookmarked before even Folgerover became a thing. <laughs> he was ready for that. This man had a Google Doc. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Loved everybody pointing out like, yo, that tweet was months ago. When did you plan this? <laughs> it's like a fucking game theory thumbnail. Did he plan this? <laughs> what was he cooking? No! No! Oh, damn, no! I think that's it. Oh, ow. That's fine. You got this, Foxy. Oh, nice. Nicely contested. Ah, oh, fuck the wrong angle. Simple geometry. Well, I got it in the air. Now I'm Do stuck I have that dog forever. in me? Find out now. Find out next time on. Oh, the dog in me has uh, been, been, been found to have an illness and put down, unfortunately. Oh, God, not all yellow. Not old yellow. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, old yellow will be yellow no more. All the memes of like he's got that dog in him is just like an X-ray of a person's chest, but there's just like a live, like fucking spaniel just sat in there, like a <laughs> stock image. Everybody does have the two walls in them, after all. <laughs> and they're both boys, yeah. and they're kissing. <laughs> wow, these oh, guys damn, literally know how to fly. What the? They fuck? know how to do it. That shit's scary.
They've got they've got the 2012 XP because it's the end of our world. <laughs> yeah, we can play these guys again. We, that was close. That was close. <laughs> I'm ready. And I am ready to fight robots. Let's do it. We're going to destroy them this time. Cryptomize continued. That tweet ended me. I'm glad to hear it, chat. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what you think you would do if you don't want into VTubing is like video production? Uh, definitely, yeah. No, I've um, I, I went, I went to uni to study film. I've, I've been, I've, it's like my main sort of hobby is watching films. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully watch the Oscars this year as well. I'm, 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 I'm really excited for it. And I think my plan, if ever, you know, if ever I was to move on from VTubing, I would definitely try to make an entry into, into film. And I guess the exciting part about like, you know, having a really stable job now is that I'll be able to save up enough to eventually finance something of my own. That's so, true as well, you know, yeah. filmmaking is a very cruel industry to be a part of because, you know, you need you need an in and you need to know who to talk to. You need to know what you're doing and you need people who are involved in film production to really trust you because the decision of who you get involved can really affect how the final product turns out. So the worst case scenario is making a film and then way nice the worst case scenario is, you know, someone who's, who's putting a lot of money into a film doesn't want to pick the wrong person and you need to have film or like credits to your name that make them know that they can trust you but then you can't get credits to your name without someone taking a chance on you and yeah. in this industry it's rare so my, my plan probably would probably be maybe to go back to school for a little while and kind of study get back into the swing of things and then put some money put some serious money into a real project that i can that i can be proud of and then use that to sort of like springboard into into more stuff because like a good example oh way a good example uh, of that, well, not of that, because he'd been making films for a long time, but Skinnamarink only had a budget of $15,000, which is... For and now it's, like, fucking huge. Like, that's one huge. thing it's that massive. I do like about that. Like, I finally got the whole way through it. I still think it's a bit boring, but I see what they were going with. It's, like, pure analog horror. It looks like it could have been made for YouTube. Oh, yeah, definitely. And actually, what's interesting about the director is that he used to be a YouTuber. Um, he I has didn't a, know that, but that makes it, so much sense. He has sense. a channel called um, Bite Size oh. Nightmares. Uh, fuck. He has a channel called Bite Size Nightmares where he's made other films and there's a film, a short film called Heck, which is very much like Skinnamarink about a mother and her son, I think, trapped in hell or something oh. like that. But it's shot like, it's again, it's like, you know, a version of hell which looks like their house and stuff like that. And it's very much like Skinnamarink. So, you know, and like, that's where it all came from. It's just a guy making films with his family and like whatever equipment he could get his hands on and stuff like that. And now with just like a little budget, I mean, $15,000 for a film is it's like nothing. really, yeah. you, you can't do anything with fifteen thousand and so it's definitely um it's it's definitely like a really inspirational story and now it's up there with uh, blair witch and paranormal activity as one of the most profitable films ever made because of like com the amount of money it made compared to the budget yeah know? honestly completely deserved as well oh, it definitely yeah. does have like a good idea for everything a story mm -hmm. i get like I, I it's a mixed bag for people like i totally understand why some people wouldn't enjoy it for me i genuinely think it's the most like the scariest film i have ever seen like i've never been no, more can't. scared watching a film than i have been watching skin of a ring i and think after you definitely I have it, to be in like the right mindset for it to see mm -hmm. like all the things coming at you but you have to yeah, be paying definitely. attention the whole way through even though it's a very relaxing and mind empty kind of movie most of the way through for my money like it, it is relaxing at least i thought so like i was just sort of like wow i love the the vibe of it like i was sort of looking at the shot types i was like wow this is cool you know and then suddenly you know you get that scene where like the daughter has to go upstairs and the parents are the parent like the weird images of the parents are there and they're like look under the bed and then there's nothing and then it's just it's like such it's like 20 minutes of build up it's i just couldn't handle it after that and i became aware of like yeah oh fuck I became aware of the fact that there could have been a jump scare at any moment because, like, the whole film is structured in the same way. It's always quiet. Yeah. And so you never know when something's going to happen and when and something's not. there's literally Anything no jump, jump scares for the first 40 minutes, so it, like, lowers yeah. you in with a false sense of security. You're like, oh, is this whole thing just, like, subtleties? And then it really starts to hit you with things. Yeah, and then the phone comes out and, you, and it just goes like diddly ling and it's like, you know, because the whole film has been so quiet. When there is noise, it completely fucks with you. Yeah, you're just not ready for it. Have you seen the tweet of someone who used the voice AI to put Joe Biden in the Skinnamarink house? He was like, guys, I'm really scared. I've been Skinnamarinked. Oh, God. 
And then no, and he's I like, haven't. what the hell? It was like, he's like, what the fuck is this phone doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. All the like really president's things have been hilarious to me. They've been so funny. My the, my favorite one is the one of um, because because I don't know what they've done with the voice AI. They've made it sound so realistic. It's mm. just like. It's supposed to be one of the presidential debates, and it's Trump and Biden. He's like, you know, it's like, you know what you are? You are the soy Wojak. I am the Chad Wojak. And he's like, no, 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 I am the Chad, the Nordic gamer Wojak. You are, you are the the virgin, and I'm the Chad. And, and then he's like, you know what? You're, you, you know, you know. I think more accurately, I'm the rare Pepe, and you're the uh, the small crying Peepo. And he's like, I am, I. It's like you're a small crying Abustaya, and I am the basin red pill Groipa. And it's oh, just all God. of this terminally online internet lingo. It felt, like, it felt like the last man. 10 years of my life have been training to watch that video. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I probably wouldn't even understand that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. What, I think what my favorite then one, then they start, just because it then they start so talking, close they, to home, is just like the combination of like, who's your favorite Oshi between all the Lazo like <laughs> Oh, I love that one. And then George Bush comes at the end and his, his Oshi is Rosemary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and like man. halfway through Obama arguing with Biden, uh, 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 halfway through Trump arguing with Biden, you got Obama. It's like I think Fiona is pretty cool, guys. <laughs> Which is such an Obama thing to do to just be like, "Come on, guys, let's just agree on this." <laughs> I think Fiona is pretty cool. She's a wonderful and passionate gamer. <sighs> and, and they all have to stop and agree, and they're like, "Yeah, you know what? Tsunami is a banger. Tsunami ah! is a damn banger. Tsunami is a banger." Oh, you're doing so good. <laughs> My favorite part of that other one is like, it's like it's uh, suddenly halfway through a conversation, they just kind of stop and then Trump is like, you know what Sigma Grind said is? American <laughs> Psycho. Watch this movie recently. Patrick Bateman, great guy. I watch this and I think, you know what? He, this character, he might, he might be literally me. And, he's, and, 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 and then Biden is like, ever seen Drive, Taxi Driver, Blade Runner? I am all of those characters. You can't be all of those characters. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> I mean, you can combine oh. a lot of those characters and just call it the Ryan Gosling character. That's true. So many people think they're a Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I'd say the only one that's really not much of a red... Like, some of the Ryan Gosling... Like, I think the only, like, true red flag one is Patrick Bateman. Like, if someone says, like, oh, oh yeah, Patrick, Patrick Bateman, Bateman is literally me. That, like, if someone says that, character. get out, leave yeah. right then. Because that's a fucking nightmare scenario. The movie a lot of people say that American probably... Psycho for a fucking reason. <laughs> yeah. I'll... Listen. A lot of people who say that probably haven't seen American Psycho. I'm just being real. Like, they probably haven't seen Yeah, they've probably seen, seen, like, some how... images and some vi some little clips from it. Like, like, just seen him saying, do, I like, the business not, card thing. Yeah, I'm losing my touch with reality. And they're like, oh my god, literally me. But then, like... But then, if they actually watched the movie and they saw the shit that he does... Ooh, yeah. I, I don't know, maybe they would still say it. I remember I was watching an interview with Christian Bale and he was talking about, like, the, his, his process for sort of like, researching Chris, uh, Patrick Bateman as a character. And he said that he went to Wall Street and he talked to a bunch of Wall Street like business guys, like stocks guys. And he asked like, yeah, you guys read American Psycho? And they're like, oh yeah, Patrick Bangman, we love him. And he's like, <laughs> like, like, you, like that's, that's, a, that's a joke, right? You're being ironic. And they're like, no, no, he's a great guy. You know, and they like people in Wall Street, he, they like him because he is an accurate representation of what those motherfuckers are like. It's crazy. I mean, he must be because I mean, then you watch like the Wolf of Wall Street as well. And I mean, that's all based off of real people and they're doing the exact same shit. Yeah. Oh god. I mean, it takes a special kind of person to get there. I remember there was a study done, and it was like a good at least twenty, like ten or twenty percent of the people high up in Wall Street are psychopaths, like clinically. Yeah. I, there's also like recently they've proven that it's actually much more beneficial for you in modern day society to be on the spectrum, like be a yeah. psychopath on some level, it's because it does Wild. just let you like manipulate people's emotions. Yeah. Oh god, I can't play. I can't aim anymore. I can't play. Rain stops nice. play, guys. <laughs> I said rain stops play. I'm like, wait a minute, we're in the desert. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about that here. Fortunately, we are stuck. No, no cricket problems here. Nice. Ooh. God, they're so good at defense. Ooh. Oh, come on. We got this. 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 He scored for us. Yay! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm kind of messy, messy, messy. Messy, 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 messy. Um, Sheep! Don't know what he was up to, but I'll take it. It's fine. Oh, somebody hitting us with the fucking 
Ah, uh, well, that Star Wars quote. I hate yeah. sand. It's rough and it's coarse. <laughs> it's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets, gets everywhere. everywhere. Not like here. No, oh, everything's <laughs> soft and smooth! <laughs> no! Do you remember that film and the fact that that is like the last line that's said before they kiss for the first time? Is that really? It is, God. yeah. It is. Like, that's the Riz that won Padme over in the end. I mean, honestly, she was desperate for anything at that point anyway. She was. She was. And so was he. Yeah. He oh, this rat bastard. Oh. Virgin. I can't even hate him for that because, I mean, if he hadn't been there, he we would have just scored, so... Yeah. It's just logical. I was thinking recently, like, like a lot no. of the people who enjoy... Oh, no! Yeah. It's an epic save, and then it fucking went in anyway. <laughs> you saved it, and then you got it right back. The main thing that a lot of people who like the prequels say about Addington and Padme is that their chemistry is supposed to be awkward because, like, they... They're both, because, like, like, they're, not they're both kind of, Like, she's a senator who's never really interacted with a person, and he's a, he was, like, a slave and then a Jedi, and the Jedi are just as in institutionalized, which is kind of an interesting piece of commentary. Um, but the problem, really, is that, like, even then, I think it's sort of somewhat unbelievable, you know? Like, the way that they talk, it's like, yeah, I get it, I get what the way you're they going talk. for, but yeah. like I can't, I can't believe that that's like something that even if a person was like very weird, I still don't believe that they would actually talk like that, or that they would actually fall in love, you know? Because Padme would understand like etiquette, and she would understand how to talk to people, being a politician and a queen and all that kind of stuff. And so Anakin's first, first like interaction with her, being like, "Sorry, my lady," and all that kind of stuff. It just, I don't know if it would work. Like, it's just, I, I don't know. I don't believe that it would have actually worked out if weren't real. Nah. It's it in! Me. It feels like a lot of their dialogue in that is just exposition that they needed to get in kind of thing. Yeah, and it's also just like, they just meet up for the first time in the second film and they interact for like 10 minutes and then she's like, and then he's like, you are in my very soul. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am haunted by there. the kiss you should not have given me. Oh my God. If I was her, I would have been like, all right, Jesus, that is cool. Need to get away from this guy. He's going to wear my skin someday. Oh! <laughs> Anakin actually pat Patrick Bateman. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Anakin God. Sigma grind set. Oh, no, you're on your Sigma grind set right now. What the fuck was that? I, that should not have worked. <laughs> that, that, that's where that came from. <laughs> Fucking trigonometry. This man is fulfilling out quadratic equations in his head. This man just wanted to clear the ball. What the fuck happened? <laughs> that's why you got to love this game. Head empty for real. Oh, God. Yeah, come to think of it, like... God, I keep coming back to this because I'm interested in it. Oh, ooh. Going back to the filmmaking thing as well. Yeah, I hey. guess. Nice. Um, like one of the big things to be able to have is actually money to be able to like finance your own thing as well. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, saving yeah. money right now. You mean Tommy Wiseau? That's the whole reason he got through so good. He yeah, literally he financed that infinite, whole film. People said that he had like there was like a theory that he has connections to the mafia and stuff like that, and he just came in from from Europe or somewhere in Europe because we still don't know where he's from. He's never exactly. revealed it. He keeps, he keeps changing mystery. his story about where he's actually from and no one can really place his accent because he's clearly been to so many different places and it's like influenced his accent in so many ways. Yeah, Tommy you know, White's so always that, genuinely fascinating as a person. That would have been why like we can't figure out where he's from and we can't figure out like where he got all that money. But you know, that's, that's, that's just kind of it really. Um, but yeah, no, Shit. like, if you look at a lot of the people, a lot of, like, rising stars in film, if you're sort of brand new to film, a lot of the time it's, like, a, sort of a breakout acting talent. You know, someone who's, like, goes to an audition, gets really, really, really fucking lucky, and is insanely talented. Whereas when it comes to, like, a lot of production roles, a lot of the time, like, people who get involved tend to sort of come from old money. They've been given a lot of really good opportunities. This obviously isn't always the case, but it's definitely the kind of thing where families in film will stay in film and you'll notice like oh there's a new actor in this oh they're the son of whoever you know it's one yeah. of the reasons why why nicholas cage changed his name his name is actually um nicholas coppola because he is the nephew of francis ford coppola the guy who directed the godfather he changed his name he changed his name because he didn't want people to think that he, he was a nepo right on that i had yeah. no idea about that from nick cage yeah no oh, he's, the, he's the nephew of one of the most legendary filmmakers who ever lived that's wild at least I think you. 
some movie that's coming out soon that he's got to be in. I'm really looking forward to it as well. I can't remember which one. Well, I mean, yeah, Nick Nick Cage, his, 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 his whole name is Nicholas Kim Coppola, and he just sort of invented a new name. Oh, shit. Shit. He I was tabbed out down. reading about Nicholas Cage. <laughs> no, that's what this is supposed to be anyway. You're good. <laughs> but man. Yeah, I knew he had a different name. I knew Nick Cage was his real name. I didn't realize that's where he came from. That's wild. Yeah. But yeah, it does feel like certainly Hollywood is like such a Nepo baby area. Like it really, is really is. Because it's so elitist and so expensive to like really make your star in it. Like a lot of the actors who do get picked up tend to be from like very, very affluent acting schools. Like, um, you know, and uh, a lot of the time. So one of my favorite examples would be like Adam Driver. He he really didn't come from money like at all. Like I think he had like a summer job selling vacuum cleaners or something like that. And then he joined the army and stuff like that. He's really. And then when he got back from that, like I believe he he joined the army, but he was never deployed because he had, he had like a really horrific leg injury. And then after that, he actually um, he applied to Juilliard, the acting school, and he didn't get in the first time. But then the second time, he did get in with a scholarship. So he was able to Sick. afford to go there. And then after that, like that's what afforded him the opportunity to get started in acting. And now he's fucking in Star Wars. And yeah, that's wild. That's such a wild story for somebody to go through to become an actor. I love I love stories like that. Like someone who goes through a weird... My my absolute favorite story is... Um, I think the, the most legendary sort of like breakout director is Quentin Tarantino. Because mm. he is one of two directors whose name alone can sell a film, and he came from fucking nothing. Like, his whole, um, so his whole story, pure luck and pure talent again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at you doing luck. fucking geometry again. Some, I think that's the exact same goal I got last time. It's worth it just literally, right after I'm watching corner. the same cutscene again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's my Let's get an instant replay. <laughs> we'll call that the Folger shot. <laughs> Do you know how Tarantino's first film was published? Um, probably in a foot fetish museum. Um, well, well, no, but I mean, okay, I we, like we, can, well. we can clown <laughs> like, on Tarantino all we want, but he <laughs> no, still he's does make director. Fantastic. Yeah, he is. he is. We can clown on Tarantino all we want, but oh shit, I tried to do something, I missed it. It yes! doesn't matter. Who. Seven five, two goals but in the final thirty seconds. Let's go. The thing about um, yeah, oh, they, 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 they laugh. Wow, what dick? Seventeen seconds. And they're just like, yeah, mm. I'm out of here. Embarrassing. <laughs> the thing about Tarantino, right? So he made his first ever film in black and white called um, My Best Friend's Birthday. And no one has ever seen this film because he hated it. And half of it was destroyed in a fire. Um, and so oh. no one has ever seen his first ever film that he financed himself. And he said, like, I hate this film. And if anyone ever sees it, I'm going to find them and kill them. So they don't get to tell anyone what happens in it. The scary um, thing with Quentin Tarantino is I might believe that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Like, if he says I'm going to kill someone, I'm like, <laughs> oh, we should get someone to guard them. <laughs> yeah. But then the thing after that is Quentin Tarantino, like, he always had a big passion for film, obviously. And then um, during, like, the, sort of, like, his earlier years, he worked in a video store. Like, he just worked in, like, a blockbuster or something, just selling VHS tapes and renting out VHS tapes like you like you do in Blockbuster. A yeah. lot of a Blockbuster is going to be before a lot of people in chat. A lot of people, <laughs> the Blockbuster is before your time. So I just want to explain what it is first. Uh, so he kind of worked in one it of those. It was Netflix and during before that, we had streaming. <laughs> before we had streaming, before you could just put anything online at any moment, you had to go to a video store and you had to rent out a VHS of it and then go and take it back another time, lest you be fined for it. But anyway, he was working at one of these stores and in his spare time, he was working on a screenplay. That screenplay was Reservoir Dogs and he wrote it and it wasn't going to go anywhere. Like he just wrote it and was like, eh, it'd be cool if I made it one day and all that kind of stuff. But then he showed it to one of his friends. And one of his friends showed it to one of their parents. One of their parents showed it to one of their friends. One of their friends showed it to one of their friends. And then one of their friends showed it to their acting teacher and their acting teacher showed it to Harvey Keitel. And Holy the script shit. was so good that he, he got in contact with Tarantino immediately because when you write a screenplay, you put your phone number on the front. He contacted him and after that, Harvey Keitel, big name in Hollywood, the film was made and Tarantino has been a legend of since. That's wild. The See, that's odds. the good sign of Hollywood. That, that's why, like, you laugh at people that are constantly like, yo, here's my mixtape or the, the but if you of that. Like, that's, what, that's the value of the elevator pitch. You need to get your foot in the door or else nothing is ever going to happen. You know, people need to know about you. Exactly. And that's kind of, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm so thankful 
for this as an opportunity to make some money to finance my own films is because I that's like the part I struggle with like it's my it's it's my fucking British se uh, sense of like manners is that I feel like I never want to bother anybody oh no! my god let's Put fucking go right baby that was great Whoa, let's go yeah I feel that as well like the nice I mean back to the whole like sometimes it's better to not care about other people's feelings and to be completely yeah. immoral like the people that do that, yeah, they're just like, fuck it, no, here's my mixtape, here's my CV. Like, I know like, you weren't I actively get, looking get, for I people, but I'm good. I get when I show something me. I've made. I get embarrassed when I show something I've made to, like, really close friends that I trust. Exactly. Know? Showing something to like a very cold, stern producer or someone I look up to, I'm like, God, I'm, I'm like, I'm never gonna do that shit. I have to, I have to get used to the idea of that. Yeah, like, I don't Ooh. care how proud I am of something I made. Even then, I'm like, I don't want people to... I don't want to be the one actively showing it to people. If people find it, that's great. That's the dream. The fact that, that like, the fact that I made it is bad enough. You know, it's like, okay, me putting my heart on my shoulder, my heart on my sleeve and showing something that I've made to a person I don't know, it's like, oh my god. And I guess that's one of the reasons why being a Niji Sanji is such a privilege, because you have, like, a group of people who do... Oh, so close! Oh, you bastard! A group of people who do want yes. to see anything you've made, you know. And it's exactly. Part of what, it's part of what gives me the confidence to do ASMR and to put stories and stuff that I've kind of written in them like that. Because I know that, like, because you have, you have fans, you know, people who follow you and enjoy seeing what you've done, it gives you the confidence to actually show it to them. Would I show it to people who are not my fans? I would struggle to, but I feel like I have more confidence now as a result. True, honestly. You get to that point where you realize the true fans are going to show up for whatever you make, even if it's completely different from the stuff you normally do. So that gives you more confidence to actually try different things out. Got to kill this guy. Shit. No. Nice. I bring you, bring you gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Murder, Judas. No. <laughs> What the fuck is that from? That's fucking hilarious. That's a, that's a vine. That almost sounds like a Simpsons, like old Simpsons joke. <laughs> it kind of does. Okay, I'm actually kind of getting the hang of this now. It's all about saving your boots. Yeah, you're getting you really good at defense now. Oh, God. Every time I do that jump, it fucks me up. I think one of their team just, like, quit as well. Yeah. <laughs> that is so true. Funny. That's probably, probably helping that that's happening. To be fair, that only happened after the second goal, so it's not like we've gotten a goal since. <laughs> he misses! Oh, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Oh, Jesus. Jump right. Smack him in. There we go. Dribble yeah. it in. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be replaced by an AI. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. one of the best I'm, things I'm... about Ninja. We also get to, like, practice so many skills that we want to train oh we really do yeah the nicest part i mean let's be honest i think the, the 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 big part about that is that you're in you're in a um a profession where you're the only limit is your own creativity you 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 will be able to do as many streams as you have ideas for and as you have the energy to do right mm. and so in that sense in that sense like essentially your challenge to say hey how creative can i actually be and so you have any idea, like, what's something you've always wanted to do? Well, why don't I do this? Why don't I do that? Blah, 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 blah. And then it just kind of puts you in a position where the more creative you can be, the better you will do, really. Exactly. And that's the, that's the one problem that I feel like a lot of people fall into. I've definitely fallen into this as well, where it's just like you get comfortable doing the same thing continuously. Oh, yeah. And that's the problem with like the idea with streaming because like there's an incentive to do something every single day mm. and eventually trying to come up with seven different things to do per week it's like it's difficult to find something creative or different to do every time when it's so much easier to just say oh wait they got a goal all right nice one. yo they uh, have a batman finisher that's oh cool <laughs> the first musical jingle that came into my head was this fucking spider-man one <laughs> <laughs> God, man, I want the Batman one. <laughs> you, are, you are, you are kind of like Batman in a way. I, it's funny because I never really liked Batman as a superhero. But oh, I love Batman. Like, the goddess is very Batman. I love Batman. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that he's like just a just a bloke in a suit with mental problems. True. He's still just screaming for daddy and mommy all day every day. No! Don't leave me! 
The fact that his superpower just literally is money. He's mastered every mm. martial art, but his only power is just literally, I had the money to do it. I was a rich Batman kid. Was, Batman is a Nepo baby. I'm sorry to say it. Oh, no, he definitely is. A, a Batman without money would just be a dead vigilante on the street. Yeah. More likely have just killed himself while he was young and trying to do the training. Yeah. Don't let it touch the ground. Oh, it's still in the air. Boom. Damn. <laughs> <gasps> nice oh, shot. Man. I think we can. What level are you at? I think we can probably do. Mm. No. Ah, uh, nah. No, I'm. I, I'm getting there. Maybe like a couple more games. Got it. A yeah. couple more games, and I'll and I'll be there. Yeah, I kind of want to just try some competitive before we stop today. More than anything. Yeah, just to see what it's like. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> to get absolutely crushed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm surprised how many people just disconnect in this game. Like the yeah, matches like don't a, take. Fuck it. I'm out of here. You go two two nil up, and just the other team's like, nah, I'm done. A Batman without money is Spider-Man? No. Spider-Man has superpowers. <laughs> it would be Peter Parker rather than Spider-Man, and he'd die very quickly. <laughs> yeah, Peter Parker's Peter Parker would not last very long without his powers. He's just a, he's just a, he's just a nerdy kid. Like he's less prepared than you know. He's less prepared than Batman, even if Batman didn't have money, because Batman is like ripped. <laughs> yeah, true. True. And Peter Parker without his powers is not. No. Peter Parker without his powers, yeah, he'd be able to make the web fluid, but once he did, trying to just keep his body weight up while swinging around New York, he would die. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be the, he'd be there and he'd be trying to like swing through New York to get to to get to the place they were gonna fight, and he'd like just smack into a building and die. <laughs> exactly, George of the Jungle style. <laughs> George, George, George of the jungle, watch Strongest out for that tree. tree. Watch out for that tree. God. Is that a British thing? I've never heard any American mention that before. George of the Jungle? Yeah. Uh, I think it's American. The, the movie had Brendan Fraser in it. Oh, yeah. I guess it just wasn't as popular. But it's just not, like, as remembered. Oh, God! I was about to score on us. <laughs> no, we know it. No, I watched it. Okay, so it isn't, yeah. Maybe it's just a generational thing that nobody mentions it anymore. Yeah, just sort of had its time. Yeah. It's okay, we can always bring old memes back. I still found out someone drawing me as Tarzan. Yo, that's... I mean, that's a Disney movie. Disney movies kind of get, like, the timeless mark. Oh, they do, they do. But it's just... Oh, it's, oh, oh no! That up. I was just thinking about it. I was like, why me as Tarzan? The only one I can think of is that he's, like, a friend to gorillas. To gorillas, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe they just wanted you to, uh, drawn surrounded by gorillas as well. What's, what's the tar what's the girl from Tarzan called? You do called do that, that voice sometimes. Uh, Jane. You do do that voice sometimes, too, though. Like, when you Which, do, like, gorilla voice, it sounds very Tarzan. It's very, I like, can't remember what Tarzan <laughs> sounds like, to be honest. I just remember the... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Iconic, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, he definitely has that, like, mm, Jane, me, Tarzan. Jane, me, Tarzan. Yeah, it's that kind I'm of voice. Tarzan. Do you remember the, um... Do you remember the, the, the villain from Tarzan, how he died? I don't remember how he died, but I remember the villain specifically because I played Kingdom Hearts and I sucked against that boss. <laughs> so I had to hear Sora say, like, a billion times his name. I can't even. I can't, no, I can't remember, remember his, name. his name. I just remember the way he died being the most like, like scary thing as a kid. Because he's like, it's like one of those really intense scenes where he's like chasing with them through the vines, and then all of a sudden he's like chopping away at the vines to get through. But he's so high up in the trees that eventually he snaps the one holding him up, and he falls down, and it like hangs him on his way down. And then you like, you've just it got hangs this. Um, him? Yeah, it does. Holy shit, that's dark like it. As like at first, you see him fall, which is like how every Disney villain dies. Then it cuts to the jungle floor, and you can see his legs dangling from the tree. And it's like Jesus Christ, that's so fucked up. It's like I, I love dramatic villain all. deaths, but that one when I saw it, I was like Jesus Christ. My God. Okay, Clayton, that was the guy. Oh, that yeah, Clayton. Ah, oh, that's yeah. what I remember. Like there was an unskippable cutscene right before that fight, and I just remember constantly having to hear fucking. Clayton! Sora, Sora's voice actor be like, Clayton! He's like surprised he's turned into a bad guy. And I'm like, yes, we've done this 5,000 times, Sora. Please. <sighs> Unskippable cutscenes suck so much. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever played have you ever played Mortal Kombat 9? 
Mortal Kombat what? Oh, no, no. I haven't played a Mortal Kombat in ages. So, Mortal Kombat 9 was probably, a, like, the game... Before I got into Smash, it was Mortal Kombat. And that, I played that game more than any other game at the time when it came out. I was addicted to it. Obviously, that all started because it had a pretty fucking good campaign. Like, there was a lot of content there. The story was... I don't, I don't remember the story being particularly good, but it was good enough. And it kind of got you invested. And it gave you a good excuse to, like, practice the game's mechanics and stuff. Halfway through, you have, like, a... Uh, you have, like, a taster fight of the final boss, Shao Kahn. Oh, and there's damn. like a 12 minute cutscene before that, and it's unskippable. <laughs> That's a fucking wild. <laughs> a 12 minute unskippable cutscene every single time you lose to this boss who can kill you in like three fucking hits. I would rage quit on that one so hard. I did. I did so many times. It was oh like one of the God. first games that I truly molded at. I don't get what they used to be thinking with unskippable cutscenes. I think they just—it just they, Maybe they it was just didn't for think like about the arcade it. release, and they were like, "Yes, spend all your money." <laughs> spend your money, yeah. Spend money for like. Ima imagine if it wasn't based on lives. Imagine if you got like a static amount of time, but they, they just waste it all in fucking in you know, the cutscenes. <laughs> just the cutscene itself. Oh my god! You start up the game. You get Death Stranding arcade game. You get half an hour, and you get like a quarter of the way into the opening cutscene. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Kojima making Wait. his money. Nice goal. Thank you. And yeah, long death cutscenes. Some of the long death cutscenes are at least fun. Like I mm. used to like kill Lara Croft in Tomb Raider just for the fun of it. Yeah. Some of the ways no, you I could find those. to like have her be murdered were wild. Have you ever played Death Stranding? Not yet. I'm planning on playing it before number two releases. G good. You. Re it's one of my. It's genuinely one of my favorite games. Uh, it's like when it came out, I. I kind of like. I. I saw. I saw like all the negative hype about like. Oh yeah, it's a walking simulator and stuff. And then I actually played it, and oh, it's got it's such an incredible atmosphere, and the story is brilliant as well. Like it has a lot of Kojima isms to it. Like like there's a lot of heavy exposition, like telling yeah. you about the world and stuff. But if you accept mm. that going in, it's really fun to watch. Really fun to play. I said watch. That kind of gave it away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it gave more away like how much of a game. Move. But at the same time, like movies Literally, are good. Who gives a shit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like it's some of the best acting I've seen in a game. Like, some of the acting performances in Death Stranding are incredible, and you have, like, real talent on display there. You've got some great cameos. You've got really good actors coming in. And the gameplay itself, I wouldn't call it fun, but it's very satisfying. Yeah. Like, it's not about just walking. It's about, like, looking at your route across, like, a very well-designed la empty landscape and planning out a route that's efficient, bringing the right supplies and stuff like that, dealing with obstacles as they appear. And then it, once you make it to the end, it's like, oh, man. You know, that's fun. That does look pretty fun. I mean, the ways you, like, slide down different areas yeah. and shit looks pretty impressive like, and well done. It's like, yeah, it's like a whole lot of time with a heavy package on your back, like, climbing up a hill, you know, and it's like, oh, man, you know, that was that was exhausting and shit. Don't let them score. Don't let them score. Don't let them do it. Don't let them oh, do it. Oh, I barely saved that. Okay. Over time. All right, here we go. We got this. We deserve this. We got this. We fought so hard. It's been so long. No! Wow, let's fucking go! So oh, I thought about that so oh my hard. God. My brain was activated. Look, watch this. I just back up and just oh ram it straight God. in. Bump straight in, and it's in. Shoot! Let's go. Go! Oh, my oh man, God. this is such a good game. That was that was actually that was pretty good. Forty-two cool. car touch. Damn, you've just been ramming them all day long. <laughs> I am a British driver. <laughs> Get off the fucking road, mate. I think that was the only time that I liked TikToks was just the one guy that goes around just super angrily shouting at British traffic and the weather. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of my uh, favorite things. I was like, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, I never really mind getting stuck behind someone because I always know that they're, they're doing their best and sometimes the traffic is always bad. Unless it's a fucking learner! And then it just cuts to me. <laughs> just zooms in on the learning permit, yeah. Learns in on the, le and the, like, the learner's um, plate on the back and he's like, why, you motherfucker? You know, I really like driving around the British countryside sometimes. You get to enjoy the sunshine. Except it's always fucking raining! Yeah, I love that guy, yeah. <laughs> I think those. I think that's before TikTok. Like that was Vine. That might have been Vine, which oh man, shows you how little your, I've ever. Your age is TikTok. your your age is showing. They're literally the same thing, man. I don't care. They're they are videos. the same thing. They definitely are. But Vine, Vine was Vine. Vine had its own. 
its atmosphere. own context, its yeah. own sense of humor, because it was characterized by existing at that time of the internet when people had those senses of humor. True. This TikTok is very much a mishmash of everything, just short form content. Have you ever seen the tweet that's, uh, with speaking of Tarzan again, it was like, it's someone tweeted, I miss Vine, and it was like Tarzan as he plummets towards the jungle floor. <laughs> that's fucking great. <laughs> I wouldn't have even thought to make that connection. Fucking hell. I miss Vine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Truer words were never spoken, Tarzan. Oh, God, these guys know how to move it. Then move I like to move it, move it. Move it. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. Same brain cell. I like to move, move it. Move it! I'm glad that fucking Ice Age brought that to a whole new audience. Oh, uh, no. No. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh, it was Madagascar. Fine. It was Madagascar. Holy shit. Yeah, Those it's like King the Julian. Same movie to me, man. Yeah, it's true. Be <laughs> like, they have like Ice Age the Meltdown, and I'm like, mm, same, same thing, same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of funny animals saying not animal things. Well, another one, there was a Disney movie, The Wild, um, that was basically just Madagascar. Like, it had the same sort of thing of like main character, the lion who escapes from the zoo, and all of that kind of stuff. I don't even remember. I remember that watching one. The Wild a lot back in the day. I used to enjoy that film mostly because it had Eddie Izzard in, um, as the koala, and, uh, and she was really good in, in that. Ah, oh, let's go. Eddie Izzard is a very funny comedian. Oh, 100%. It's such such perfect British humor yeah. as well. Like, it's just so silly. The like, the bit. so recognizable. It's like, I think mm. one of the most important things for, like, a comedian. Oh, God. Thinking about, uh, what is it? Like, uh, like Death Star Canteen or, um, or Cake or Death. And it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you, Cake or Death. Uh, cake, please. All right, you may have cake. <laughs> you, Cake or Death. It's like, oh, I've, uh, it's like, oh cake, please. Why am I out of cake? Oh, so my choice is or death. It's like, no, you, 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 no, you can have the steak dinner. Like if a flying church of England cake or death. <laughs> <laughs> Very Monty Python kind of humor too. Oh, super Monty Python. Yeah, that is British humor. Where British humor is either like the most, the most like ridiculous shit you can possibly imagine, or it's like pure misery. Yeah. Misery and suffering. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Everybody hey, wants hey, to be hey, from the hey. UK. That's not true. Nobody wants to be from the UK. True. Call it a British debuff for a reason. Fuck. Wow, no. <laughs> they blew me up right in front of that. Oh, oh you blew me up. Damn you. At least he oh, has. Uh -huh. He's been playing since 2018. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's been five years. It's time to give up the ghost. You know what? Uh, actually, they deserve to oh, win Oh, they're just staying. That. They're staying. Hey! Why do they think I, they could save no, it? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I love the Mario voice. I'm so sad they didn't just get the Mario voice cast for the Mario movie. Yeah, um, they, they do have Charles Martinet. My, my my prediction is that Wario is going to cameo in the film, and that will be Charles Martinet. That'd be pretty sick. What if what if Wario was the like? It, there's a post credit scene, and Wario is the villain of the second film. I think they have to do something like that. Just like with the Sonic movie where they were like, okay, we had our basic fun. Now here comes Knuckles. Don't worry. Here He's comes coming. Knuckles. And the next Knuckles one, here comes tails. Shadow. And then... Oh, yeah. when Shadow it, shows up in the third one, that shit's got to be fucking hype. That's going to be sick. <sighs> I think that's the funny thing with Sonic is they have so many characters that they can just I'm keep dead. going. I am. I, re I am Shadow the Hedgehog, to be honest. Yeah. I have his fucking shoes, man. Between the two of That's us, true. we are Shadow the Hedgehog. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Is Lamb Mama a, a Shadow Kinney or something? I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but I think... Lamb Mama lot. Sonic fan. Instead of Sammy Classic, it's Lamb Classic Sonic fan. We are just both actually Jajinkas of Sonic. <laughs> That's how Lamb Mama's been designed. Oh, that would have been so cool. Oh, I kept it on target at least. Oh, that would have been so cool. I know, it was so close. None of that, sir. So. Ooh, nice backflip. I didn't, didn't do anything, but it looked cool. But yeah, it looks cool. That's what matters. It's about style points. Yeah, trying to get my trying to get my Hunger Games sponsor box so I can have some bread. Let <laughs> them eat cake, man. It's fine. You don't need bread. Ah, oh, damn. 
I feel like if I was like a rich person in the Hunger Games universe, I would always give them really useless gifts just to fuck with them. <laughs> you'd like be the top sponsor for someone, but all you'd be giving them would be like toothbrushes. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, make sure you're practicing dental health because when you win, you're going to be on telly, all right? You got to look good. Oh, here, here's a hairbrush for you. I give them like something only them useful if they win. Oh my God, that'd be great. I'd be like, oh, I want to treat them because I want to treat them to like the experience of flying first class on a plane. So I get them a boarding pass for a first class flight, but they only get to use it if they, if they, if they win. Yeah, it's a good way to incentivize it's them. It motivates honestly. them, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to look at it. First class straight to Ibiza, night to night out with the lads. I like the idea of them like finding a wild animal as well and you like giving them food for the animal instead of anything for them. No, LeBron shame. LeBron shame. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron shame, LeBron shame. Like they LeBron find shame. a wild pig in the forest and they've already killed it by the time your present shows up, which is just like pig food. It's just like, oh, good, you have a friend. And you've already eaten it. Remember what you did. That would actually be a great one. Just sending them photos of the people that they've killed, just to traumatize oh. them even more. That's brilliant. Oh my god. Ouch. That's good. That's good. Suzanne so Collins has got to take notes from me. She's got to write that into, into the next book if she ever does one. She doesn't know how Hunger to be dystopian enough. Let's be honest here. Yeah. There's too much. There's, yeah. I mean, I don't know of a better example of dystopia, really. I mean, apart from obviously, like, fucking Blade Runner is, like, way better at it. But, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Why do they do that? <laughs> and then they clearly get so angry about it. Like, they come running at me after. Like, how dare you? I mean, it's like, I feel like Hunger Games it. is a very sort of a comical dystopia, you know, like it's yeah, so it's ridiculously so oppressive that it's like the kind of thing where it's like, okay, but it is fun to get into the idea of that because, you know, it's definitely like, like the ideas and the concepts are in the right place. Yeah, it's, it's like the so whole, on, although honestly, silly. like a lot of the sort of the things that rich people do in the Hunger Games almost feels true to life. Like the one where, at, where they're at the banquet and they have like the drink that makes them vomit so they can eat more. I mean, yeah, that's straight off ripped off from the vomit vomitorium from ancient Rome. They actually did that. Oh, wow. I didn't actually know that. Oh, yeah. They had buildings in ancient Rome called vomitoriums where they would just throw up when they were too full of food so that they could eat more this, food that way. Oh, I'm gonna messy, 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 no messy. Let's go. We in it. We still in it, baby. Four seconds left. Go on. But yeah, honestly, like a lot of the Hunger Games stuff, like the fact that once you get to the capital as well, there's so many people who have straight up altered their DNA just to look better. Like people yeah. with cat parts and shit. That's so... This is us as well. Oh, no, we're, we're fucked. No! We're fucked. <gasps> oh. They, oh, they fumble! Okay, overtime. What? Wait, yeah, wait, now wait, we're equal. Now we're on overtime. Oh, they left it open. <laughs> they left it open. Let's go. Oh my god. What did they do? They both went opposite ways. Yeah. They, went, they, they both, both went to go to get, get boost. The boost. They were like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, he tried. No, that's so tragic. Three seconds. We, oh my god. You catching that goal on the final four seconds as well? That, that, I, I, I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to space later. <laughs> Le level 10. Oh, let's level go. nine. I train on level nine. Level nine, not good enough. Did you ever watch that um that that Buzz Lightyear cartoon, Buzz Lightyear Star Command? I don't think I did. When did that come out? It's like early two thousands, I think, and it's like all the Toy Story characters are watching like a Buzz Lightyear cartoon, and you get to watch that cartoon where it's all about like the Emperor Zerg and all of his lore and stuff. And there's this one part where he's in like a training simulation, and there's this girl um uh ranger who is like pushing up the ranks, and then it's and then it says level nine, and he says level nine. I train on level nine, and then she beats it, and then it goes level ten, and she gets her ass kicked. I, that's like the one thing from that film that I remember. Oh, I don't remember that at all. It sounds fun though. It was I, a pretty good film. Did you watch the new Buzz Lightyear movie? I have not. Is it good? Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Let's just say they give an interesting backstory for Emperor Zerg, which I did not see coming, but did not need to see either. Well, he's his father, isn't he? Mm. Like from Toy Story 2. No. No. <laughs> he's not? No. <laughs> Are they gay? It's way stupider than... Oh, if only. That'd be a fun If twist. only. I mean, Disney wouldn't I do that. I would have loved that. <laughs> I mean... 
because they always have like that one gay character in the background who kissed for like half a second and we're not actually every, part of the story. every single disney movie for the past five years has had the first openly gay disney character. i know right you always see that like they clearly pay it's like their first openly, like how many first openly gay characters are they gonna have exactly. it doesn't have like it doesn't give them the fucking brownie points they're asking for and so they keep re-announcing it like are we doing it again guys oh this is our first openly gay character they never say it but we promise you they are we promise you like, yeah they're just kind of in openly they're gay just in the movie they actually have a kiss even though nobody knows who they are and they don't have any personality they just appear in the background <laughs> Or oh when there's like God. the one very quick lesbian kiss in Star Wars Nine. That's exactly, that's the one. I, that's the like film. the most egregious example where it's like, yeah. Oh, who, it's who's like, the LGBT character? This is interesting. Oh, it's the two characters that don't even get named in the film. Kiss yeah. in the background. In meanwhile, the background. meanwhile, you had fucking Oscar Isaac and John Boyega who openly were like, please. Please, Please make our characters yeah, gay exactly. for each other. They, they have such it. good chemistry. Please, and the Disney overlords were like, no, no, we don't. We, we don't uh, that was the thing. They enjoyed that shipping so much. They leaned into it. They did. They, they did. Really, and you like, watch Force Awakens. They've got incredible character. chemistry. Like they really, like they are bros, but also like you know, there's so much like romantic chemistry in it as well. Like you've got Oscar Isaac, like um, Poe when he meets back up with Finn after Finn thinks that he's died and they see each other again for the first time. He like it's like he runs looks at him, like, Finn him. wearing his jacket. He runs over, hugs him, sees him wearing his jacket. And he says, "No, it's good. It suits you." And you can see him bite his fucking lip. And I'm like, "In what <laughs> universe are these just two straight guys? What the for fuck?" Real. Oh my god. It's always funny to me when people think that non-romantic chemistry is romantic and people think that romantic chemistry is just completely platonic. It's really bizarre because in so many films, it's so easy to tell like what the intention was. Like um, I watched Emma recently and obviously a, like, a really in incredible film based on an even more incredible work of literature. She like she's best friend, Emma is best friends with um, Harriet and a lot of people are saying that they're gay, but like, in the film, their chemistry just isn't romantic, and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's just, you know, it's like it's almost like we can't watch two female characters who are like deeply care for each other and interact. And it's like if their chemistry was gay, that would be wonderful. Yes. But it's like that's not who they are as characters, you know. That's and that's one fine. Of, yeah, that's one of like obviously the Star Wars thing. Like yeah, like you said, that that was gay as shit. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. That, that is romantic chemistry. What those two actors were doing, they wanted they wanted their characters to be to be to, to like to like you know to love each other. Yeah. But Disney were just like no. Yeah. You know. And I mean, clearly, since it got filmed that way, like the directors clearly knew that that was a thing as well. I think the directors might have been on board with it as well, but it was just like a producer thing where they're like, no, we may. We may lose 1% of our ticket sales, so unfortunately yeah. we will not be allowing representation in this film, everybody. I'm very sorry about that. I was going to mention this earlier when we were talking about, like, um, sort of... I can't remember what the subject was. We were talking about, like, business people, you know, or, like, it was American Psycho, right? It's oh, like, yeah. I can't understand what it must be like. Genuinely, I don't understand how their brains work. Being a business person who works in a creative industry like looking like being able to completely see past the artistic value of oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> he literally went around it like he let you have that yeah they went for too many boosts again and just left the call open. Yeah. <laughs> imagine being able to just look at a film like a work of art and then just see around all of the artistic points in it and just see the money in it. i don't understand that i genuinely don't understand how their brains work with that it's like Oh yeah, so we enjoy uh, audiences responded positively to this type of character. So, so do you can't find no! a way to put that in. It's like, well, it doesn't work for the film. It's like, it's like, <laughs> well, it doesn't work for the film. Like, we didn't write that, write it in that way. Like Star Wars, for example. It's like, oh well, we were we were writing these characters, these two men, to like be in a relationship, and they're like, well, you know, we we haven't seen Star Wars fans respond positively to this kind of thing, so we're going to ask you to remove that. And it's like, well, it wouldn't work. It's like, we'll find something that does. We don't care. Oh, yeah, it's such a waste of potential. Especially when there are people who genuinely like have passion for a project and want to put that into it. I mean, when the actors and the director are clearly in on it, why the fuck do the producers come in and say, but that won't be good for the final project, for like the money making. It won't be good for our franchise opportunities. It won't be good for our merchandising. We don't think we can capitalize well on selling action figures of two of two gay men. And so they're like, all right, well, I, I, I guess the film <laughs> as the film, the main project that this is for, is just going to be worse off then because you need to make more money. Okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, and meanwhile, flashback to the 80s where every fucking best-selling toy was like, He-Man, 
action man. Yeah. It's just big rugged men with their clothes torn off. Like we couldn't possibly sell gay men as action figures. He man laughing in the background with a hey yeah 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, ah. It's like it's it's like it's like that. What is it? It's like that 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 old um that image that was really popular on Tumblr for a while. Like the news flash. I've been gay this whole time, asshole. <laughs> it's like I wonder. Do you think he maybe? Yes, yes, yes. He does. <laughs> it's like. Do you think he's? You know, like. No, yes, 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 yes. He is. <laughs> very, very fucking clearly. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I, I agree with you uh, with the whole thing of like sometimes people just don't let friends be friends anymore either. It's I know true. Like, fine there's, if you're there's like so shipping something, you can ship whatever you want. Oh, and, like, yeah, 100%. That's your prerogative. You can have fun with it. But when people are like, oh no, it's obviously canon that this was supposed to happen. It's like people are allowed to just be friends. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's there's a spectrum for all of it. And it's all just about what's best. For the film in 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 Emma, those characters, like the way the the way the performances work, it's not as though like there's hidden romantic oh, chemistry there. Weird. It's just that it's just that they are friends who deeply care for each other. And the film, I think, works incredibly well because of that, because both of them are pursuing their own romantic prospects, but they care so deeply for each other that you have um you have Emma who's sort of I think she really is like a grounding force for Emma because um Emma is so free of consequence in her life because she's such like an affluent rich girl who has never really had a problem at all in her life to the point where she's quite arrogant and a little bit unlikable but the fact that the fact that she has harriet and she's so so caring for her friend it really makes her more likable and i i found her to be such an incredibly complex character because no matter how bad she got no matter how insensitive or arrogant or whatever it was that she became i knew that she was a good person and it sort of made because me she cared about her friend cared, yeah because she cared for her friend and because the performances sold that idea so well like no matter what she did i would always at the very least be able to understand I think that we have this unfold. I, I I saw this tweet about this this uh, today, which like really spoke to me, and it was like, I can't believe that we sort of we it, like we are no. We, nice. We are. It was like that was a good goal. It's like I can't great. believe that we've moved past the point of being able to see characters purely as plot devices. It's like why can't we see characters as like devices to further the plot rather than constantly projecting ourselves onto these characters? It's like sometimes a character is just there to make something happen in the plot. <laughs> We're just dragging the time around. We did not need that goal. That was just We didn't mean. need that at all. He tried to save that so bad. He flew into the air like a fucking majestic phoenix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I feel that too. And yeah, not just that, but also I feel like we've, as a society, for some reason, just completely dampened the idea of friendship so much. Like friendship can be so beautiful. People it are can. so obsessed oh. with the idea of like, oh, you have to have love when some of the best relationships back in the day weren't actually sexual it was about like connecting to someone as a soulmate even though you didn't want to fuck them you didn't mm -hmm. want to like and marry them obviously. you just wanted to be friends with them but at the same time like one of the best things i've ever heard like one of the best ways to say like the love of your life has died was about this person who uh i forget the way they say it but the chinese phrase is something along the lines of the the strings have been broken um, mm. And it's the idea that there was this one person who always played his guqin and he felt like there was only one other person in the world that could actually understand his music, that could actually like listen to his music and understand what he was trying to put forward in the music. And mm. as far as I know, they weren't romantically attached, but yeah, it was the idea of like losing a soulmate. Like since he had lost his, that person, that person had passed away. He broke the strings because there was no point in playing the music anymore. Nobody would ever understand it the way that that person had. Mm -hmm. That's just oh, such a beautiful way to put that. And whether it was like romantic or not, like soulmates don't need to be romantic. There doesn't need to be love, it's love. There can just be true. pure friendship that just genuinely makes oh, they you a just better scored, person. Oh, oh my god! I, I was so close to an own goal. goal. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, get it in, way! <laughs> These guys, they better, they better forfeit after that. They better leave. That was emb embarrassing. Embarrassing. And thank you, people in chat, who always, cor who always cor uh, correct me when I say dumb shit that's only half true. So apparently, <laughs> the guys' names are Yu Boya and Jong Zichi. Ah, the tonic soulmates. Exactly. Reading that sounds really interesting. 
Yeah, it's a really... I love the phrase. The phrase is so such a poetic way to say, like, the light of your light has gone out exactly. Like, nobody will understand you anymore. <laughs> okay, how is this competitive? One person quit and Orlando's just not bothering anymore. <laughs> we are no longer... <laughs> competitive is less competitive than fucking quick play at this point. Yeah, we had those fucking teams in quick play and now in competitive. These guys are yeah. just getting wrecked. <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, I think um, I, the more I think about it, it's like I agree. I, I completely Ooh. agree. Like, like on this point, is that is that not every not every sort of like close strong relationship needs to be um, romantic. But I'm I'm thinking that maybe what we're experiencing right now might be a, a so, sort of a reaction to uh, you know a new cultural thing where for so many years what we've had is you know queer relationships being sort of noted down as <laughs> oh they must have been. Yeah. They must have all. Oh, they must have been such good friends, you know. And so mm. now it almost feels like it's nicer to be able to recognize what might have been attraction where we find it, um, True. which is also valid, you know. So maybe, maybe it's just sort of us having our fun with it. Like, oh, I bet that you know, it's like, it's like I remember what is it? There's a famous quote from Isaac Newton talking about supposedly his quote unquote best friend being like, he was my soulmate. He was there with me every moment until I died and all of that. And everyone's like, hmm. they certainly were very, very good friends. Like, were they friends? <laughs> were they were they gay as hell? Was they probably were gay as hell, I mean. but it wouldn't matter either way, you know. Exactly. That's the thing. I feel like there's like, and that's why I'll never like tell someone they're wrong because you can never really know, especially when it comes to history. You can never know like what was just rumors, what was said to like, discredit certain people in certain um like depending on the society like it may have been looked down upon society like i liked the way the roman well not really the romans had that <laughs> whole thing where it was like it was perfectly fine to be homosexual but then they also had like a big thing when it came to men about who was like the top and the bottom and how much that changed like the respect of the relationship oh no you don't want Which, that nah you don't be why i was that. like it's you know what maybe it's not. almost like you're a member of niji sanji at that point <laughs> yeah it's almost like you're a canon shipper nowadays where you're like oh this uh, one has to be the top that one has to be the bottom <laughs> oh, God. but at least in that way it like allowed people to actually say like I mean, yeah, Julius Caesar was well known for sleeping for a lot of men during the army days, so. Oh, yeah. At least they didn't have and to I, hide I, that fact I remember, a little bit. I remember reading recently about, oh Poor my God. Orlando. I remember reading <laughs> recently about the, um, about the Ogogi that Spartans went to, and the fact that every, every, like, um, sort of soldier who went to train in the Ogogi was given a male partner that they would like train under and then sleep with yeah and and all that kind of stuff and then to the point that all spartan soldiers became so gay that when they needed to like marry and reproduce with with like women they would need to have sex in within rooms with the lights off so that they could picture their male partner jeez yeah i didn't know that was a thing at all that's wild yeah, yeah I, that's why that's why i read Yes, that's why only Spartan women make real men. <laughs> I love that line in 300, where a man tries to talk I haven't down seen 300. What the fuck is that line? Oh, it's such a good line. There's like, I, it's one of the Persian envoys, I think, is talking down to Leonidas' wife. And she like speaks back to him. And he's like, how dare a woman speak down to me? And she's like, only Spartan women make real men. And it's just like instant. Like, he looks so pissful for her. He looks over to Leonidas for help, and Leonidas yeah. is just like, I ain't touching that. That's my wife, man. She'll <laughs> kick my ass. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill him. I don't need to. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Orlando! Uh, you know what? I'm impressed with the fact that Orlando kept playing. This yeah, poor there's dude. probably a Lever's penalty in this one as well, but like, he's, well, he's just gonna. He's just sticking with it. I knocked my brother in. <laughs> <laughs> knocked my brother in! <laughs> When are you going to knock your brother up? I mean... <laughs> there's been enough dojins. <laughs> there's been enough dojins. Brother actively acting, asking another brother. Yo, when are you going to impregnate me, though? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the Fukuma shippers are way too powerful. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's the oh, angst. It's the goal? angst level. It makes it more appealing. Yeah, especially since it started as enemies. That was great. God, you should have seen me when I was watching Pride and Prejudice a few days ago. I was inconsolable. Oh. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen Pride and Prejudice? No, actually. Well, I mean, there's so many different versions of it, but no, I've never the, actually the, watched I, I, I watched the um, I watched the 2005 version, and oh, God, it's 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 very good. The chemistry, because it's all about, it's all about, like, two characters that fucking hate each other's guts at the beginning, and then one of them slowly falling for the other, and then the other one being disgusted by 
their love and then them these two characters like it's a, it's like a will they won't they but it's like god i can't stand that i'm in love with this person but oh my god i'm in love with this person it's <laughs> like the their chemistry best. is so good that is honestly one of the best it's like, especially when they stay enemies while they're still like finding the attraction to each other that's my favorite oh god thing. okay so you must have seen um a screenshots from the scene where mr darcy confesses and he's like i love you most ardently and he's like and he's like all sweaty and covered in rain and shit and she's like oh my god and like she she just can't stand him and she, and she's like how i was like i can't imagine the uh, another man on earth i should be married married to less than you but then he gets close and he like has this very puppy dog look in his eyes and he's trying to apologize to her and they kind of lean forward like they're about to fucking kiss and then they run away like the, the amount of raw <laughs> magnetic attraction between these two was so powerful that when they're both covered in rain and crying and hate each other they're like god damn this man <laughs> I, w I lived for that. Great. The moment I watched that, I, I was alone in my apartment, and I was like, oh, like I was out loud, just screaming to myself about how much I, about how into these two's like story I was. Mm. It just reminds me of like Co from Fifty Percent Off, the famous line: "They hate each other, but they also fuck each other." <laughs> <laughs> fuck enemies to lovers. Give me enemies and lovers. That's exactly it. Just enemies who also fuck. Enemies who fight each other on the battlefield, and then also, just whenever one of them gets the other pinned down, it's go time. It's like, it's like you know, why not? Like, we might as well. We both know we want this. Exactly. And at the end, they, yeah. One of my lines that got quoted so much, because it's just so dirty, was me being like, there, I've defeated you, and next time it won't be, that won't be the way that I penetrate you. Like, they still want to kill each other, but at the same time, there's also raw sexual attraction. Yo, final We're 10 dragging this out for poor worst. Orlando so much. Let's get it to 10. Let's get it to 10. Come on. One more. We got this. Bam. It must be so painful having to sit through this and be like, just end the game. Just end the game, like, please. Just end it. Just end it, please. And we're like, la, da, 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 da. you better stop me, Orlando. He didn't stop. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, no, no, no. You got no, this, Voxy. No, I don't. Oh, I fumbled the bag. Bag no, fumbled. Okay. Bag fumbled. Only a nine. Imagine that. Imagine going only nine nil instead nine of ten. Nine nil. Jeez. I genuinely feel bad. See ya. Hey, we did freeze frame in the air together. We. Let's go. It's like the end of the SpongeBob movie. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. I've only Whoa, ever heard the horror man. version of that song. Oh. Wait a minute. Did they put us on different... No, they didn't. We're just being weird. <laughs> oh, man. Take me by the hand. Lead me to the land. Let you understand. Uh-oh. These guys are not Ocean play. man. <laughs> Cross to the forest water of amazement at the over man. Ocean man, and cross in the sand and in by by the sand. Soaking up the thirst of the land, ocean man. Enjoy the copyright claim, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm not afraid. The YouTube's of it. not got that good of a system. They don't know. I'm not singing it in tune. There are some people who got like copyright claims for the birthday song, which still amazes me. That is fucking weird. That song has to be in the public domain right now. Apparently not. Apparently I guess not it's the about main like version. the um, it like the ver like the performances of it are copyrighted, obviously, but like the the song itself wouldn't be, you know. So if you're just going ba ba da 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 da, like you, like you can't you can't copyright someone for that. That's just coming out of my mouth. That dude flew like sixty feet in the air. I mean, I feel that, but at the same time, like there's also the dumbness that like. There'll be classical music that's been out for hundreds of years that shouldn't possibly be claimed. And some random orchestra will be like, yeah, yeah, we played that song. Uh, so yeah, we, we did that. No, 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 that was me. That was me. <laughs> you can hear my, you can hear me. You can hear my violin in the back. Like, that's <laughs> clearly you can hear that? that was me. specifically. I played that. Da -da -da -da. Oh, shit. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, this guy's da -da 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 really good. Da -da -da. There you go. PewDiePie got copyright claim from Bad Recorder of My Heart Will Go. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love the YouTube copyright system. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. You know, I actually um a moment apart from my from my Donkey Kong stream actually got got copyrighted, and they and it was the part where I was on uh, the, the the Bramble Blast level with Sticker Brush Symphony, which is one of the best pieces of game music ever written, and someone copyright claimed it. It wasn't Nintendo copywriting Sticker Brush Symphony or David Wise or anyone. It was some guy copywriting a song that wasn't there. Like that it was just a twenty. Lot as well. It was twenty seconds of Sticker Brush Symphony. It was like, no, no, this is my song called like Let's Kid It or something like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Excuse what me. The thing is, they end up getting away with that shit. Man. They do. They do. They just, you know, the claimant is just like, no, no, I'm correct. I will have the re the ad revenue you're getting from this Donkey Kong video. And at that point, you're like, well, I'm not gonna fight that. I'm too fucking tired. You I'm just me? tired. Like, all right, have it, I guess. We've essentially only been playing against one player, and he's destroying us. He is. Where's the other guy? What's he? Oh, he's just chilling. He's just little, AFK. little boy Pee Pee. Yeah, little boy Pee Pee's too short to reach his fucking keyboard. He can't Aww. play right now. Poor little Peter Pan. Poor little boy Pee Pee. Whoa. Clear it. What's that? Little boy Pee Pee fell down the well. Oh no, Lassie, what are we going to do about it? How is this guy so good? He's everywhere. I have to kill him. Take it, boy. Oh my God. Ooh. We've got little boy Pee Pee and high boy. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, little, little boy, boy Pee Pee. Pee, -pee he's back in the game. Little boy Pee Pee. Here he comes. Maybe this is our win condition. Maybe he'll make the other one worse. Uh, he was he was just finishing up watching a Pomu bard. <laughs> Yo, if that's actually a Pomu fan, I'd be so happy. He was like, all right. It's like, all right, I'm powered up now. All right, all right. Here I go. I'm ready for it. Now they've got the big Pee Pee energy. Hi, little boy, PP. Ah, oh, shit. Fish and chips, anyone? Oh my god, I forgot that was the debut line. <laughs> debut lines have become so, like, so sort of, like, serious since then. Like, like, Lazulite had, um, Love at First Light, which was like, which was like, great, you know, and then you had Big Pomu Energy and Fish and Chips, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> then we had Shu Yamino with the just, like, Sorcerer? Sorcerer? I, I hardly even, even know, know her. her. That was like the last bat. That was like the last bastion of um of like funny debut lines. <laughs> yeah, truly. Nowadays, <laughs> it's, it's the then. same for like our debut videos as well. Like everything's gotten so tuny and serious and sad. Yeah. Um, Everybody wants to be it's like so both dramatic. both XLA and Noctix both had the like oh have like that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it makes sense for like Obsidia and Noctix. This is like we were supposed to be the dark reflections of the other waves. That sound like all the waves we've been done so far, apart from Etheria, which just exists in their own wonderful little vacuum. True. Etheria, the singer wave. Let's go. Oh no. Can we talk about how good Nina's cover of God Sees All is? That's the thing. Like Nina genuinely has become such a fucking good singer. So impressive. She has, and she I think I think it's the amount so of practice much. she's been getting because she does so many karaoke streams. Oh damn, fuck, man. this guy's running a ringer on us. What the hell is he, he doing? He really is. It's just him as well. The other person is just getting in his way. <laughs> I hate him so much. It's fine. It's interesting. Like we've got the two dark reflections of each other in Eluna and Exile as well. Meanwhile, XLA don't feel that dark at all. <laughs> like, really Aluna no. were pretty dark in and of themselves. Yeah. Oh, nice. Beat him up. In Aluna, oh my god, we're already like, the game, oh, the game's already over. Oh, fuck. Yeah, when there's not many goals, it, it just kind of flies by. Oh, we got hey! one goal. Thank you. It's possible. Hey, I'm I like mean, Pitbull. Don't, uh, tell me we possible. We possible, baby. <laughs> they literally put it in for us, but sure. Okay, now I just need to get one of those like instant goals and then we'll be fine. Just Hail Mary, just go straight for it. I, I told him, I told him he shouldn't have let little boy PP fail. I mean, little boy PP play. That was his problem. Nah. Born, oh, oh my God, he's in! Yeah, yeah we got it, we're still in it, baby! It was we're still in it! Overtime. It nice already hit shot. zero seconds. You fucking legend. He went straight, look at that, he went straight past He went him. just to the left. Now we get oh, overtime. God. Oh, baby. We're in this it. is it. Ah. Okay. If we beat High Boy after this, I'm going to feel so genuinely bad for him. Oh, no. Oh, 
shit. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Unless, unless. <gasps> Look what PP is working for us. I knew it. He's inting. <laughs> he's working for the bad guys. Let's go. He's on our side. I set you up, brother. You've got this. I've got no boost. Wait, no. I've got all the boost. Ah, I missed. <laughs> all part of the Keikaku. But I really need boost. I'm recording the Keikaku. That guy is full on boost. He's just taking it all so we can't get any. I know. He manages it so well. Oh, and he's going in. Look at that. He flew with oh it. Oh, my God. Nice. L little boy PP fucking saved it. This man is genuinely throwing. I think he's genuinely a Pomu fan. He's on our side. He's on our side. Little boy PP, you're doing it. You're doing it. He's beginning to believe. 3v1. He's scoring. He's still. Oh, my God. Let's go. Wait, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little boy PP's on our side! <laughs> he left! He fucking left! He's better oh, than us no. too! I feel oh so God. bad if that's an actual Pomu fan coming in here. There's You're a no legend, little boy way. PP. <laughs> that guy was actually keeping up with 3v1 as well. That's what's fucking wild. Oh, man. You want, to, you want to stop there or you want to do one more LG? That was kind of legendary. Do one more. Let's do one more. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Dragon Lord Blueprint. Oh, the man. Lord. They didn't ah. play for the first half of the game and then they just started playing for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now the guy was so serious as well. He must have felt bad. <laughs> he must have. <laughs> I, 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 wonder, I wonder if that man is going to go buy a new controller tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he just yeeted it out the fucking window. Won't that's how I've been... Find it. <laughs> that's how I've been playing Elden Ring recently, is I've just been sat on my couch, like, uh, just trying to relax, and then eventually I'll just hit some point where the enemy damage is tuned way up, and I'll get one shot by something stupid, and I'll just be like, BAM! Spike my controller, I'm going to go get a drink, I'm going to go do something else. That's like, I just, I will play it for an infinite amount of time until I get mad. That's every time I play Smash, yeah. The yeah, me too. Ends. Smash Once will I've always so end again. I'm angry that I've like just given up before I break something. I could play the both of those games. I could play them for 12 hours straight. I'm just always interrupted by my own rage. <laughs> Feel that? Oh, oh it goes in and it's in and it's fucking in. He killed me, but I scored. <laughs> Who wins, baby? There should be an achievement for that, like the martyr. Score a goal while dead. I know, right? Look at this. Customer's <laughs> goal. Yeah, you should definitely get bonus points for that shit. <laughs> this is genuinely such a good game. Why haven't we been playing this? I don't know. It's really fun, isn't it? Like, sometimes it's so easy to just kind of like, even as a beginner, to just kind of randomly wind up doing some fancy shit. Yeah. Just have a lot of fun with it, even though you don't really know how to play. Yeah. This should be the tournament we do. <laughs> it should. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. We should do a Rocket League tournament. Because it's so... Because I want to do Smash, and I think that would make good for another... Oh, no. Oh, no! no! Wait. Oh, oh yeah. thank fucking God. That was scary looking. And yeah, the problem is there's just so much difference between the different levels of people who play Smash. Like, it would still be a good tournament. But we definitely need to go, like, international with it. We couldn't just do it. We again. need to get JP involved as well, because yeah. they have so many good Smash players, too. Because there's only, like, three people who actually play Smash in the end. Fuck. Yeah, there are a lot of people who play Smash, but a lot of them do so, like, casually, which is completely fine. It's one of the reasons why I figured if we did a big Smash tournament, it would... Oh, that's going in. Let's that's go, in, brother! I think you're welcome for that goal, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> I had to make sure they didn't sprint over to it, man. I was like, they're on their way. <laughs> it's not goal stealing, it's goal securing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just you sharing flirting, between really brothers. Funny. It's fine. <laughs> We give him the love. Oh shit. Oh tonight. shit. Yo! Let's get it in, Fujab! Hey! What the fuck was that one? They just let us have that one. But yeah, Rocket Sanji would be fun. I mean, this is literally. I played up to level six yesterday. So I played about four matches yesterday because it was just so addictive. I was like, I'll play one to learn the controls, and then I played four in a row. That's all I've played of this before. So, like, yeah, you pick this up super easily. Man, all too high. I'm sure there's like a yeah. proper skill ceiling to it, but just like baby oh, yeah. level, it's so much fun. It's so hype when you actually do something that looks good. Oh, that's on goal. Ain't no way. No way. Nah, Don't low. save it. Don't save it. It deserves it. Yes! Oh, yes! 
I'm getting carried right now. You're going mad. I mean, I've stolen two of your goals, but this was just ridiculous. That was... Look how slow it is. They just didn't know how to stop Fucking it. Fucking trigonometry right now. <laughs> They're doing everything to not get away. That's what I mean. Like, shit like that during a tournament is just so fun. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad we have perms for this. Uh, me too. Oh, shit. Oh, we're good. My man tight swan. And uh... it goes in. <laughs> I, th I think I've hit Ultra Instinct mode at this point. <laughs> and this is to go even further beyond. I'd like to imagine that Ultra Instinct in Rocket League doesn't sound like Hurr! It just sounds like <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Ultra Instinct is just when you use the boost. <laughs> yes! And it goes in! What is this man doing? <laughs> I learned the trigonometry. What is he doing? I'm just, just being, being careful. Believe. Look at me just sit there for like a solid five Fuck. seconds. He just tapped that in with his ass. The the the, the, fol the Folger cake allegations are being proven <laughs> true. I don't know if you're going to escape them this time. Honestly, yeah, look at all this cake. This cake is huge in this game. Oh, I think the other guy disconnected. <laughs> he's not moving yeah, anymore. Yeah, I would have I disconnected by now as well. Oh, no, he's back. Good. Good. We deserve this as a real win. Oh my god, my oh. wrist with that. Oh my god, the way I'm just the way I'm kicking these balls. Oh, oh that's no, that's off. Oh. You got it, Foxy. You got it. Oh uh, man, that would have gone in. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, they're playing good defense now. They're scared. It's yeah. <laughs> Bro, with six nil, what are they gonna do? Oh, They've got to play offensively, know. or it's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> oh, I blew up. Oh god. Now they're just going for kills. All our food keeps blowing up. <laughs> Finally, some good soup. We want to take a moment to talk to you about the... Ah! <laughs> Arby's, we have the meats. Did you get to try Arby's while you were in America? I did. I did not, unfortunately. Oh, um, good. I tried... <laughs> what, did I, what did I try while I was there? I went back to Panera Bread. Uh, Panera Bread is really nice fucking Panera, awesome. Yeah. Panera Bread is my favorite, definitely. Oh, Yo, that was beautiful, oh, brother. Let's that was go. that was sick. Let me see that. Let me watch that replay. You, I that. That shit. Fucking you pass it to me, and then I just <gasps> ram her in. Bop. <clears throat> right in the corner. Oh, uh, so so good. Panera. I tried. I tried American McDonald's again, which is pretty good. I, I like the frozen cokes that you can get uh, from McDonald's. They yeah. genuinely they taste like pilk. Pilk just tastes like a frozen coke from McDonald's. I think you've just had too much pilk. You're just desensitized. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Pilk is good. Have you tried pilk? Again? No, because I have stomach issues as it is, so I don't okay, want okay, like that frothy thing feeling. About, thing about pilk is, is that it won't. The, the, the problem I had first time, if you put the 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 milk in first, like pouring the Pepsi in will mix it around too much, and that'll fuck with the milk. If you oh, put the Pepsi the in first, got you. Mm -hmm, if you put the Pepsi in first, then uh, then gently pour the milk in. It will um, slowly sort of integrate, and it won't like fuck with it, and the, it will lose, and it will just only have a little bit of combination left that's like appropriate. And like I've had tons of pilk since then, and I've never had like any kind of stomach ache or something. So oh, that's pretty sick. They he just for us. <laughs> they rammed it right in for. <laughs> he flew in at that actual like, hey, yo, why is he moving at such a velocity? Like I came in like a wreck. <laughs> It, it was like it was like he teleported. That was Ultra Instinct. Yeah, he wanted to end his teammate. <laughs> He's mad at his teammate. That's a while though. I'd I'd love to ask other people if they think frozen coke tastes like pilk. I like the idea that you've just like completely destroyed your taste buds at this point. Nah, 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 nah. See, that's the thing, right? Is what you got to do is you got to listen to the voice note where I, after I beat Ren and Smash, I made him try Pilk as a Batsu, and he tried it, and he was like, "Oh God!" Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "This is gonna be terrible." Mm. You know what? Not bad. He was like, "Wait, wait, wait!" wait, wait, wait. It's like, "Wait, oh, I can get used to this." Thanks, Fox. I'd like to imagine that he's like a genuine. Pilk. Nice, Boxy. You two bounced that off of each other for like three times. Boing, boing. Watch this shit. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> this shit's sick. <laughs> Literally kombucha girl. Oh god. It's, it's like. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, they flew up my brother. 
then they knocked me around. They flew up my brother's ass. There we go. Rush, rush downstairs. Slam <laughs> into my brother's <laughs> ass. Wait a minute. Into my brother's ass. Pull out. Pull the engine. <laughs> oh no! You do no not idea. have docking clearance. Pull out immediately. <laughs> that's what docking is for. It's when you don't want to put it in. Oh, I should hope. I should hope we're not docking. I mean, yeah, that's a completely different. We've gone from sounding to docking in this stream. This is a very penis type stream. Yeah, it is. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Ah, oh, shit. We're not the Lamb Brothers. We're the Pee Pee Brothers, Penis Brothers. <laughs> Poor Pomu. She's gonna have to change her name. <laughs> now PB, Penis the PP Brothers. Energy. PB, the, yeah. PB. Penis Brothers with a new personal best. Yeah. And we're out. Nobody Level will 11, ever see us uh, again. Pog. God damn. Oh man, I could play this for hours. This shit's just. Me too. That was fun. Just turn off your brain and have so much fun. These guys are actually like they're ranked. They're in fucking silver, and here we are just walking away with nine goals. Fucking hell, we could go gold or plat. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Who knew this was okay? <laughs> I think probably part of it is the fact that it's almost like seven years old now. Probably not many people playing it anymore. Mostly kids, but it's fine. That's the that's the thing about it. It's not about it's not about like tight reactions. It's not about like like flick shooting. It's not about like getting the right reaction. It's just geometry. It's, it is um it is uh, about just running people over in a highly powered vehicle to be honest i think that considering who we are as people i don't think there's a game better suited for us that was truly the most american game so it was a good time mm -hmm. <laughs> the other one <laughs> slim orca's title was fucking aspiring influencer i feel like he deserved that i feel like <laughs> He deserved that 7-0 moment. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tight swan. He got the tight swan all over him. Oh, that's a ball. I thought there was some weird thing on my car. You have a turkey on your car. I Brilliant. do. <laughs> my favorite my favorite moment from this stream look at us these british lads with our fucking flags my favorite oh my moment God. from this stream uh truly was when uh tight swan said it's tighting time and he started swanning all over the place <laughs> i mean you can go full untitled goose game on that there should be an untitled swan game at this point swans are fucking menaces in england they're Since terrifying you can't legally do anything to them you really can't yeah they're fucking horrible i hate them Everybody, nobody in America ever believes it when I tell them that the Queen legally owns every swan in England. So you can't, if you fuck with them, you fucked around with the Queen's property. You get into big shit. <laughs> it is a very British thing, to be fair. To have to say all that stupid. Very British. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me today, Voxy. Sorry for dragging you out when you've already done like three streams. No, 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 no. I was, I agreed to this and then I made my schedule. It ain't your fault. It is mine. But I had a good day today. I felt very productive. Did a good stream. Did a good stream with you. So I feel, I feel pretty pumped up. I'm feeling, feeling pretty happy, you know? Good. Me too. I had a great time. Hell yeah. This is why I haven't actually technically come back from holiday yet. I'm just doing shit like this because I know it's always going to be fun. Yeah, every once in a while, we're just going to pop back and be like, Ayo, surprise! Gaming. <laughs> By the way, guys, we're still kicking their ass in Rocket League. We only lost one game, didn't we? Damn, we're just too good. I'd have been too. Just too goddamn good. I'm scared now. I've just seen that Mika's done an IQ test, and she's got, like, a, a decently high IQ. I'm worried, because one of these days, I'm going to be pressured to do an IQ test, and I know my IQ is going to be, like, three. <laughs> I genuinely feel that like anybody who is actually a successful streamer, like pretty much anyone who's gotten into Niji Sanji or any other kind of thing, you have to have like a decent sized IQ. I mean, IQ, even though it's called intelligence quotient, it's not really full intelligence. Like you have to be emotionally like, intelligent as well. It's like math. It's yeah, it's the you mathematical know, like it's being... side of your brain. It's not the left side of your brain. It's the right side of your I, brain. I, I I don't I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get that high of an IQ. I might wind up doing it eventually, but I hope I, if I do it and then I get like a, something really high as like a fluke, I will post that and be like, yep, I'm a genius. Yep, yep. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry. I want to see you just randomly get a 200 IQ, have Mensa like <laughs> you. That'd be Yo. really funny. I'm just gonna inspect <laughs> Element and edit this, edit the page. I mean, you could totally. I've seen people fuck around with shit like that. <laughs> so pointless. That nah, would, you have that to do it live on stream, funny. just so people can shit on you. <laughs> oh, 100%. Oh yeah. Okay.
but thank you for joining me. I hope you have a good rest of your day. You're more um, than welcome. I am going to have a good rest of my day. I'm going to go get a beer or two, and then I'm going to go relax, make some dinner, and play some video games, and that'll be my day. So what day is your charity good. stream? Is it Friday? Charity stream is on Friday, yes. So oh, I'm very yes. much looking forward to raising a bit of money and uh, doing some batsu, putting some money in, and making sure that we do a good thing for the people. So thank you very much, everybody. I had such fun today. Anyone who doesn't know Vox, he's going to be doing a full 24-hour stream on his stream on his channel on Friday. So make sure to check that out. Donate if you can. It'll all be for a good cause. There's going to be wow. a lot of good stories, a lot of good group games. I'm hoping to join a few of them too. Yeah! <laughs> so thank you, brother. Have a good evening. Thank you for right. joining me. What See is you that guys. voice? <laughs> Marge Simpson! Oh, that's supposed to be like the... Holy... I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Bart, stop! How do you... What? I'm over here. Sorry, Sorry force of habit. <laughs> it just sounds more like... To sounds more like Toad. <laughs> Mario! So, oh, God. I can't do that without tearing the shit out of my throat. I don't know how you manage that. Hi, Mario! What? Did you just do, like, the groany, like... I don't know how I do it. I think you just got to make, like, the back of your throat go, like... Ah, and then you just bring it high, like... Ah. Okay. <laughs> Kind of bring it into the back of your throat while also trying to make it high pitched. I don't know how I do. I can't. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Definitely has to be one of the characters you in your screenwriting stream. <laughs> okay, thank you we're writing a fucking like uh, like a, a horror movie with a romantic oh. twist in it, and I'm just imagining putting in fucking Toad now. Wait, did they fall in love with the monster? Because if so, that's fucking hot. Uh. The more the person they are in love with becomes the monster. Ah. See, yeah, that's kind of good. There's not enough things like that. It's very similar to Color Out of Space, the more I think about it, but sort of with mm. like a different different vibe. Very Lovecraftian, which is like what we came up with together. So I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to seeing where that story goes. Lovecraftian's always good. Yeah, and you get yeah, to yeah. add that combination of a little bit of the shape of water slash spice. splice. <laughs> Oh, I love shape. I love shape of water. That's a good ass move. Shape of water is awesome, man. Mm, I love the movie, and it definitely deserved. It did. It, it, it did win best. It won picture, quite a it? few awards, I think. Like best picture. I think it also got one for like the soundtrack, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, it did. Yes, and now I am controversial. I do think that that should have gone to Phantom Thread instead. But Shape of Water does have a really good soundtrack, anyway. Yeah, and they had that nice like musical dance number. It was so good. Ah, yes. And, and Alexander Desplat really can't do any wrong with his soundtrack, so yeah, definitely a very, definitely a wonderful soundtrack. They did deserve it, but I feel like Phantom Thread deserved it a little bit more, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm excited to watch the Oscars this year as well, because oh, I'm very invested. I never invested. trust award shows that are big like that. It always feels now, like they're I just know, like having know, to but it is, awards to certain people. It is fun, though, especially last year when Chris Rock got fucking smacked by Will Smith. I think that's why the viewership's got to be way up this year. <laughs> People are waiting for something else to happen. Oh my god, worst case scenario is they try and script something like that. Like, worst case scenario is they try and build up the viewership by scripting something, and we could just tell it's fucking fake. Like, that would be a nightmare. That would be so fucking embarrassing for them. So cringe. I honestly, like, I thought it was scripted when I first saw that slap. And then, like, the way it kept going on with how, like, Chris Rock was doing Keep his Keep my wife's keep name out your fucking mouth! Yeah, like the first that, scream, it sounded funny. That was funny. the part that like, was like, okay, okay, I oh, know that's real. When that's he first real. said that, there was like so many moments of like, everybody in the crowd like kind of like chuckling to themselves. And then like, he said uh, it the second wait, time what? more angry. And it was like, oh, this, this isn't scripted. This is, oh, that was so fucking wild. That was a wild thing. What was it? I mean, I mean, literally, literally Chris Rock said that was the... Greatest moment in the history of television. <laughs> I just got slapped by Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Oh my god, that was such a good moment. I'll never be able to top that again. <laughs> no, That's the sad thing. They probably are going to try to script something like that. It's going to be a horrible experience. Because you do it once and it's like, yeah. oh, that was wild. You do it twice and it's like, well, now they're just being stupid about it. At what point do no, they just turn just it into like a Roman arena and just let them fight to the death for the awards? <laughs> I'd watch that. Whoever whoever leaves with their life walks away with the award. <laughs> it's just fucking crab game, but it's the Oscars. <laughs> you guys are used to being the rich ones, but you want these awards. But don't instead you? of but instead of walking away with like fifty million dollars or however much it is, they just walk away with an Oscar. <laughs> exactly. They don't need the money. It's just, a couple years ago, before Leonardo DiCaprio had one, he'd have probably killed a couple of people for one. Yeah. Oh my God, Paul Leo. 
man was climbing inside dead animals and shit, yeah, I, I think he would have probably taken out a couple of other celebrities. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I love how we it's we don't call it Squid Game anymore. It's just Crab Game. That's the fun. I forgot it was Squid Game. Oh my god. Yeah. I just literally called it Crab Game. I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> We just assume oh that it's God. like the silly little polygon game based on Squid Game. That's the real one. That's the funny. I said Crab Game. I was 100% thinking about Squid Game. I was thinking about the live action. I was like, it's just like Crab Game. You know, the Netflix drama. <laughs> I can't oh, hear Squid man. Game. I, I, Cat Gaming is in chat and just said, I can't hear Squid Game without thinking of Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben, what happened? Squid Games. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear, what happened? Squid Game. Squid that was one of the first. Games. Have you ever seen that meme? Hold on, wait. Let me. Let me I see have this actually. <laughs> that's one oh of yeah. The few that meme. I, actually I think that's the first DM I ever got from um, Pomu. Is that she sent me that? Oh my she sent God. me that. Um, that that meme, and I was like, Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you knew yes, you joined Fazbear. the right company. <laughs> I did. I joined. I joined like, and I was like, I wonder what Niji Sanji's like. I wonder what my coworkers are gonna be like. And then I got that DM, and I was like, Danny DeVito. Oh my god. I I'm get home. It. Finally home. I'm home. <laughs> also, right, also, we're right at the end of the stream, but I think it died for a few seconds. Like everyone, we got a bunch of people. Be I love how we've now moved on from blaming Susan to blaming Neil. I, I'm still not used to blaming Neil. It feels weird to me. Anyone says, God damn it, Neil. I'm like, what did Neil do? Susan Neil. is such a great name for that. Be like, Susan. I know. Susan. It's Susan like, has I can that imagine... same energy as Karen. And it also, does. the way That's you shouted say, that yeah. out sounds so much like fucking Heavy Rain. The kid looking for Josh. 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 Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. Oh, Sean. Jason. That was his name. Jason! 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 Susan. I remember... God, what was that? I was playing 12 minutes, and there was a moment where one of the characters' lines kept repeating, and I just kept going, Jason! Jason! <laughs> How did they give you a button to press for that? It's so ridiculous. Press X to Jason. <laughs> Still not as good as press X to pay respect, but pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> press F to pay respects. Shadow of Mordor, press F to kiss wife. <laughs> 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 the first thing you do in that game that's great it's like oh i have a Press kiss F wife to... button let's go <laughs> right wife life good wife fight back <laughs> kill wife wife gone think about wife regret be sad <laughs> regret see that's pretty much the tarzan voice it's just the deepness of it the deepness and the like one to two words at a time that works perfectly <laughs> think about wife regret think about a wife touch self feel good think about wife feel more regret now hungry press f, press f to kiss <laughs> wife <laughs> oh my god I gotta, go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm gonna go get some food. Thank you very much for having me on, Food Chan. This was so much fun. Thank I'll see you around, buddy. Here, all right. You have a great rest of your day. And I will see all of you tomorrow when I'm gonna play some more Donkey Kong. So I'll see you guys then. Let's bye go. Bye. More molding. <laughs> more molding. Ah, I've 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 had like my my regeneration with Donkey Kong. I was molding at first and then I grew as a person. And uh, and now I uh, I accept the molding as a part of the experience, and I'm happy. So whatever, I'm here for the ride. <laughs> I also Secret just time. now got my. I have been assembling. I've been assembling a Nintendo 64 like I'm assembling the fucking Infinity Stones. What the fuck? Like the Nintendo the Nintendo 64 is the Infinity Gauntlet. the The memory expansion pack is like the mine is one of the stones. Donkey Kong 64 <laughs> is another stone. The controller is another stone. A special cable that I can use to connect it to HDMI is another stone like i've just been assembling all of these different elements of donkey kong 64 to eventually oh. maybe one day be able to boot it up i was gonna say so that I'm... must be the hardest part they had fucking vga cables back then fuck me yeah i wouldn't even know what kind of cable to get to connect that to anything <laughs> oh yeah and and a fucking eu plug adapter so that i can actually plug the one i got off of amazon <laughs> in in the first place <laughs> So yeah, literally oh, like five fucking infinity stones have been plugged into this Nintendo 64 infinity gauntlet and now I'm finally gonna Finally reality can be whatever I want. I fucking I hated that time when they fucking region locked games as well 
Oh yeah, I had that. I had that problem with, with my 3DS. Right? Yeah, with Nintendo dogs. I just had to sit there and play World of Warcraft for a couple of hours instead, <laughs> hoping it would arrive, and then it never, and then it didn't for, during the stream. At least you got to play it next week. It wasn't too bad. I did get to play it a few days later. Yeah, it was good. But yeah, I hated that. Like, oh my god, especially since there were so many things that get, didn't get released in the UK back then. Ugh. Oh yeah, no, that's true. A lot of it you have to get from you have to get from somewhere else. Somewhere I never got dot hack GU, man. That just sucked. As a mm. weeb, I wanted that so bad. <laughs> no. Alright, yes, I am gonna go now. Thank you very much for having me, Food Chan. No problem, Voxy. Thank you for joining me. We fucking kicked uh, ass. I hope you have a good evening. Yeah, man, you too. You carried me. Alright. Bye-bye, guys. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now let's make him tiny. Perfect. Tiny Voxy. And he's trying to escape. Too bad. You're stuck here. You become a table ornament. <laughs> that was a good time. I knew it would be. I'm surprised just how well we managed that game. <laughs> you can't escape, Voxy. You're stuck here forever. You're one of us. I have failed. <laughs> In everything I've aimed to do. I'm not going to lie. With <laughs> Pio-chan, at least I was able to take control of the conversation by the end. With Voxy, Voxy just goes off on his own. I, I could not control that conversation whatsoever. That's something I need to work on. Which isn't a bad thing. Because me and Voxy, we were just having a nice conversation. It was a chill time the whole way through. I enjoyed the shit out of that collab. It was not a shared archive. <laughs> a shared archive's whole thing is supposed to be like interviewing someone and getting to know someone. But with that one, it was just like Voxy just guided the conversation in whatever direction. It was great. He's like one of those wiggly baby toys he is. I like how he just kicks his leg a little bit when he shakes really hard. Oh, he's looking this way. He's still twitching a bit. Ah, oh, he's still twitching a bit. Okay, we'll go back to small Voxy. I don't trust that. <laughs> he could be bite-sized. He likes to talk a lot, so it's nice. Yeah. That's the thing. I didn't really have to guide the conversation at all. It's hard to like, with somebody with as big a personality as Voxy, I don't think I know anyone in Niji Sanji who has as big a personality as Voxy. He just talks and it's just a good time to chat to him. Especially since we are into a lot of the same things. The only disconnect we really have is when it comes to memes. <laughs> when it comes to memes, Voxy's like an encyclopedia and I'm just like, ah, he said that one in a funny voice. That must have been a meme I don't understand. <laughs> Everything else when it comes to like movies and video games and shit, I'm like, yeah, I could talk to this dude about anything. And then he'll just randomly like start saying something where I'm like, that doesn't make sense. That must be a meme. <laughs> that must be a, tw a fucking TikTok thing. Ah, oh, man, he's a walking meme machine. It's part of him. Yeah, I did notice he didn't use his soundboard much this time, which is interesting. Last time we comboed with Voxy, there was a lot of soundboards, a lot of farts and stuff. We only got like one blip blip noise. I hope he enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the whole conversation. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's a skill that I want to work on. Um, definitely, is actually being able to control conversations and actually being able to guide them in a direction I can. With Pio Chan, it was kind of more I got distracted. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just not good at it. Maybe I'm just only good at like just going off in my own direction. But it's something I want to work on because I want to be able to do that kind of thing. It's especially good for like interacting with people for the first time. Um, is like having the power to just be able to be like, hey, let's go on and do it like <laughs> normally as well and not awkwardly. Not just constantly being like, so tell me about your childhood. What's your relationship like with your mother? That would be weird as shit. <laughs> but finding natural ways to like guide the conversation into like different topics, that's something I need to be able to learn to do. That takes practice. Yeah, it's not practice that I really have, but I mean, I think I'm good at talking just like in general. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to finally give up and just start a podcast. Just be like, you know what? This is it. Just random conversations all the time. <laughs> I think you're good with flowing conversations. Thank you, Siri. I think I'm good at like conversing with just about anyone. I think that comes from the fact that I am such a weird fucking person, to be honest. Because <laughs> I can get along with just about anyone. I can relate to just about anyone. <laughs> Ever since I was a child, I've been able to like relate with old people and young people and like i would relate with my teachers just as well as i related with children that's the type of person i was <laughs> so yeah i think i'm pretty good at like just chatting with anyone and like being like an emotional person who like understands where they're coming from for feelings but yeah actually guiding conversations there are so many people that are better than that in niji sanji 
Nina's really good at that. I think that's why her like interview ones, like her mornings with Fox Mom are pretty good. Uh, Vox is pretty good at that when he wants to be. I think he's a little bit similar to me where he just goes off on whatever tangents he feels like. <laughs> but that's the difference between me and him. Like when he does his like just chatting streams with people, I forget what, what does he call his ones? Um, where he has just like a conversation with people as a full stream. Like they just go in any random direction and they go on for ages. Um, under the table, thank you. Yeah, he does really well with those. Mm. But yeah, they do just kind of go in random directions. But that's his thing. He's so good at improv. It's the same thing when it comes to his ASMR streams. The fact that he does just go in any direction and yet make it feel like it was already always planned to go that way. Especially like that today. Like I was watching his RuneScape. I didn't actually get to watch the zombie ASMR today. But I was watching his RuneScape and right at the end, he like explained that he had an ending planned. But then it just naturally went in a different direction so he didn't get to do the actual ending which is pretty funny to me like he's just that good at like directing things but yeah that's good different people have different strengths is what i'm saying <laughs> and this is a strength that i want to work on more it's something that i want to learn so yeah it just means the first couple of episodes of a shared archive are going to be like me finding my footing i guess learning how to talk to people properly um, once I get down to people that are a bit less spirited, it'll probably be easier. <laughs> like, if I had someone like Aya, like, I really want to talk to Aya. We never really stream together, even though we actually talk a bit and hang out quite a bit offline. Um, we're planning on doing D&D &D at some point in the future, but that's been for a while that we've been planning. <laughs> but no, nah, Aya's, like, a really great person. She's always playing, like, Overwatch on the server. She's always in the hangout on the server. But yeah, we never really do streams together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, different people like that who can like talk well, but also like don't talk over people kind of thing. Any future guest plans for a shared archive? I mean, I could do it with pretty much any member of Noctix. Um, I'd like to do it with, I'd like to do it with some people I haven't really spent much time with. So yeah, different people like that, probably from the new wave. I still haven't gotten to know Kodaka or Meliko or Ver at all. So I'm not sure if I'd be able to do a one-on-one -on -one with them. I think I'd be super uncomfortable. <laughs> but for some of the other people, I could like actually, yeah, start a conversation with them and it actually would be my, me getting to know them, essentially. <laughs> Folga interviews Petra. Man, I miss Petra. Petra's never around anymore. Time zones are such a bitch. <laughs> it's so hard to get a hold of Petra at all. D&D, yes, please. D&D is always good. Sugar. Oh, once Shu's back, I'd love to. Like, I don't want to stress Shu out too much. Like, Shu right now, it's more like if people advertise a thing and he feels like joining it, he will. Uh, we actually tried to invite him to the, the cube game the other day. Um, and he just wasn't feeling up to it, which is fair. But yeah, if Shu ever wanted to do it, it'd be great. Maybe Rosamy. Rosamy would be fucking amazing. Rosamy would be someone that I could definitely talk about for hours. Talk about. Talk with for hours. Because we're very similar in, like, our tuny vibes. We have very similar interests in games and fiction. <laughs> yeah, actually, Rosamy would be a, ga a great shot. <laughs> Rosamy based. She really is. Judy's get along. I got my first ever... Um, um, not message. I've got a lot of DMs from Rosamy. But I've got my first ever, like, game invite from Rosamy this week. Uh, I forget what it was for. Was it Monopoly? Yeah, Monopoly. She set up Monopoly. That's the first time she's ever asked me to join a game. Every other time we've just been connected by other people. Which is funny because we've been playing a lot of games <laughs> recently. <laughs> but I'll always be like connected to Rosamy from like Pomu or Selene or Vox. Other people that I talk to more. So that was the first time I ever got a message from Rosamy where it was like, Hey, do you want to play this game? And I was like, sure. That's rare. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, that was fun. Enna and her conversation cards. Enna's always fucking hilarious when you talk to people. <laughs> Enna with her, like, uncomfortability, even though she's actually very good at socializing. She seems like she's not feeling great. I want to play Barbie Horse Adventure? Maybe. <laughs> we can play some stupid games on this. I will be down. Is that a two-player game, Aya? Because I would be down. <laughs> I would be down to play something as dove as that, as long as it's two-player. I definitely don't want to turn it into, like, one person playing a game. I would definitely want it to be a game that people play two-player. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, I is in chat ready to snipe that. <laughs> okay. We'll go to Zatsidan mode now. I mean, we're pretty much in Zatsidan mode. But we're kind of just wrapping up the shared archive for now. 
Uh, let's change this song to... Oh, I love this one. We're going to switch it up to... Legatus 505 Lo-Fi. Another chill soundtrack. Literally my childhood game? Oh, God. We may do that. That would be cursed. That would be the perfect kind of vibe. <laughs> uh, let me grab my comment. Grab... I genuinely think a Rocket League tournament would be really fucking good as well. Like, that game is so silly. It's so easy to pick up. I feel like anyone can play that, and it would just be a fun time. Oh, and we might be doing something else on Saturday, depending on if I get perms for it. We might be playing a different game rather than doing the writing letters to ourselves, but we'll see. I will update you guys early if that happens, and if so, we'll just do the writing letters next week. Okay. Um, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. The there we go. Ghost Chain Scatterer. Speaking of D&D, yesterday I had the 57th session of my Mordal Zushus campaign. Almost a year and a half at Strong. Jeez. A year and a half and it's still going. That's freaking amazing. 57 sessions. God damn. So you've been doing it weekly that whole time as well. That's incredible. A Mordal Zushu themed RPG sounds hilarious as well. Getting to play as like the different members of the different sects and seeing them all interact with each other. God damn. Whoever GMs that, if you DM that, my God. The amount of notes you must have on everything must be so painful. I'm impressed though. God damn, that sounds like so much fun. Case gay. Love this try not to laugh at work moment I'm having while listening to the Lamborghini <laughs> and Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagen. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I failed, obviously. All in the fun. We went on to some random ass conversation topics during this. The fact that we managed to go from fucking sounding to whatever else we went to, I can't even remember anymore. It definitely turned into a lot of dick jokes. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh, and diaper talk. What the fuck, dude? Box still moving? He'd be like that. Let's see. The goddess. He is still moving. Holy shit. Damn. Wow, still got some life in him. Even though he's been around for 300 years. Proud of that dude. <laughs> the but yeah, I'm glad you had a good time and you laughed. I, yeah. When it's a Lambro collab, it just goes into wild conversations. Honestly, I think that's one of Vox's greatest strengths. Not just the improv, but just in general, hanging out with just about anyone. He's always unashamedly himself. Like, he knows who he is, and he's confident enough to be himself in front of every type of person. 400 years? Man, that's too many. I think we need to put Grandpa down. I'm gonna take his shirt, too. That's a nice shirt. Mm. Other sandals, though. He can keep those. And the suit. Suits to Kazuma. <laughs> Ren! I don't watch sports, but I'd love to see this happen again anytime. Both of you were so cracked. It's been such a hilariously great time. Glad I got to be here. Yeah, I was surprised how good we did, even in, like, competitive mode. We had that one team, like, that Big Tuna and that other dude absolutely destroyed us. Big Tuna gave us a run for our money a few times, but in general, even though, like, it was our first time playing it, we did pretty good. <laughs> it was a really fun time. I was surprised. I thought we'd, like, win a few games and it would, like, ELO match us with, like, other people. I also thought a lot of you guys would be playing. <laughs> I'm not sure if that PP guy, little boy PP was one of you guys, but either way, they completely entered. <laughs> Which was fucking funny. <laughs> but yeah, I expected to be stream sniped a lot more. Obviously, it doesn't matter in Rocket League. It's not like Valorant where you can see where people are going and hiding and stacking and shit. But yeah, I was expecting a lot more of you guys to show up. Big Pomo Energy. <laughs> I just sus. Maybe they were just fucking around. Maybe they just didn't like their teammate. Maybe they saw how good they were and they were like, you know what, these guys need my help. Either way, it was a funny fucking moment <laughs> on stream. Ren, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Thank you again for the huge Aka Super. That's so sweet of you. I hope you enjoyed the stream today and I hope you have a wonderful evening. And thank you for all the gifted membership, by the way. There were so many today. I saw people like gifting 50 right at the beginning of the stream. Thank you all so much for being here and enjoying the stream. I hope you did enjoy it. You may hire. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and have a good time. seeing that is like mm. yeah that's on me that's that's the thing that we brought up that's we can't even 
Oh, defend that. That's fine. It's fine. Moo, thank you for the stream. I'm so happy to see my Oshis Lambros. Really love you guys' conversation. Now I can sleep with full happiness. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a great time too. That's the thing. It was just like the stream with Dopio. It was definitely like higher energy this time because Voxy just is always high energy when he's on stream. But it was the same kind of thing where I was like, did, did people enjoy that stream? I had a lot of fun. I felt like I kind of stopped entertaining part of the way through. <laughs> yep, you brought that up all right. I don't know what you mean. It's gone now. We never have to speak of it again. We're free. <laughs> you brought that upon yourself. True. I see everything, cancelled artist. You can't escape me. The comment grabber is here to name and shame you. So happy I missed that combo. And now you had to hear it at the end. Unfortunately. <laughs> Are we free? Pretty much, yeah. We won't bring that up ever again. We're, we're free from that. We're free from that. <laughs> Oh my god. You really do see everything, especially when I'm an arsehole. I don't remember any such thing. If you were an arsehole, surely you would have been timed out by now. Um, Saku, brothers who play with balls. We did be playing with balls a lot today. We rammed each other a lot. There was a lot of riding going on, a lot of ramming. Technically, a lot of docking. We crashed into each other quite a bit. We smashed around. And we also demolized and just exploded all over each other sometimes. It is unfortunate you can't kill each other in this game. There were definitely a few times we should have killed each other. But you just bounce into each other instead. You can only kill the enemies. I should totally be team damage on. Smashing your bros. The problem is we've used that joke too much. Um, every time I do a Smash Bros thing with anyone, it's like, hey, I'm smashing this person. In fact, I won't say who I'm playing with, but there's somebody I'm playing Smash Bros with in a week or two, and literally on the on the schedule for all of Nijisanji EN to see, it says, hey, I'm smashing this person. On the schedule for everyone to see. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fund, Saku. Rocketing your bro? That just feels wrong. That just feels wrong. <laughs> Kendra Bratton. Let's go, Team Lamb Bros. You guys are doing great. Yeah, we picked it up pretty well. It wasn't too bad. And she, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, just a cute cat emoji. Outer flower, Lambros, a drift compatible. <laughs> I mean, it. Uh, I honestly, hmm, that world is cool. Because I feel like it would be fun to see your compatibility with someone in that kind of way. Like the way that they do the tests and they're like, oh, you guys are like 80% compatible. That's great. For some reason, you guys are like 95% compatible. Like there's always those stupid like questionnaires you can do where it can tell you oh you're so compatible with this person but they're fake as shit who gives a fuck i would love if there was a type of test like that you could actually do where it'd be like yo your brain just thinks on the same wavelength as this person you're like 85 percent compatible i think that'd be so much fun um drift compatibility is such an awesome concept it is such a fun idea to play with mio Akride, thank you for the stream for time i miss lambros collab so much I had to laugh so much. Need to go rest now, so see you later. Oh, yes, Simi, and hope you'll have a nice day. But yes, Simi, yeah, sorry, my schedule has been all over the place recently. Our new time is basically going to be 10 a.m. EST, so two hours before this one started. And this weekend, we're actually going to hit um, daylight savings time. So it'll be an hour earlier for people in Asia who don't do uh, daylight savings time. But look forward to that. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, for now, like my schedule is all over the place in different directions. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, technically, this is still a holiday. Technically, we're still on holiday this week. This is just, you know, collab week. Plus, possibly writing letters to ourselves. <laughs> That's this week. Yeah, it's the 12th. That's this week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this Sunday. This Sunday at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. becomes 3 a.m. I kept a special eye on it because I've been... <laughs> Timing sucks. <laughs> That's this week. Oh, in America. In the UK, it doesn't change until my birthday, the 26th. So I lose an hour of my birthday. That's fun. <laughs> Claudine's Futan. I don't have a driver's license, so I better not try. What about getting one? But I feel like I'll forget how to drive before I find a reason to drive. Maybe one day. If you don't need to drive, there's no reason to have a driver's license. Honestly, cars are expensive and I mean, they're not good for the environment as is anyway. <laughs> If you can get around where you need to get to with public transport and with walking, that's honestly so much better. It's better for you. It's better for the environment. It's better for your money. Way better. <laughs> just like Vox said, in America, you basically can't get anywhere without driving. The roads are just not made for it. There's no pavement unless you like live in certain areas. It, it sucks. 
that sucks. For the US stop daylight savings? No, they've talked about stopping it. They've like put that idea out there. They've like voted on it a few times, but they've never quite done it yet. It'd be nice if they could. That'd be great. Maristella Jung. Hi, Fu Chung. Today, Lamborghini was so fun. Thank you for stream and have a nice day. I'm going to go sleep now. Oh, what does this say? I have to translate this one. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Like I said, for me, this was just a laugh. It was just having fun. Oh, Jaja? Jaja. 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 Good night. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, yeah. I finally figured out how to say sorry. <laughs> sorry in Korean properly. It's stuck in my head now. Mianya, right? Mianya. It, no, not Mianya. I'm making it even more cat like. It was the Mian part that made me think it sounded like a cat noise. Mianya. Mianha. Is it Mianha? It sounds like Mianha. <laughs> I, I confirmed it. Wait a minute. Let me switch this. Sorry. Well, that's a long version of sorry. How do you. But Korean. You know what? I'll do it with my voice. Sulpun. No, shush you. Mianne. 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 I swear to God, in the Korean movie I watched recently, they were saying Mianne or Mianne. Mianne, stay with me now. Oh, it was still listening to the shit I was saying. I was so confused. Stop translation by voice play. <laughs> But yeah, no, I watched Extreme Job again. Miane. Apparently, I'm still getting it wrong. I'm so sure they said Miana. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just say it quicker. And yeah. Miane. Miane. I don't. Fuck it. It's fine. I'll pick up words as I go. I've been watching a lot of Korean movies recently. That's just a thing that's been happening. It's not like I'm actually trying to learn the language. Although that's part of the fun as well. That's how it started with Japanese for me. I wouldn't say I'm like fluent in Japanese or anything, but I can understand most of what people say nowadays. You said it right the second time. The last one was the best. This is it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just oh, I'll hear it more in the future. <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> Hello, Futan. My 21st was last month, but it was during your hiatus and I couldn't catch a stream after. Could I get a belated wish, please? No, you're not allowed to ask for things through super chat. I do hope you have a wonderful day, though. Thank you so much for donating to the food funds, Chrissy. 21 is an awesome age. Everything is open to you now. The world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. So good luck with everything. Is it just me or is Vox talking into the void? I think it's more likely. He did say he was going to get some food. So I think this is probably him eating some food. <laughs> it does look like he's still trying to talk to me, though. I'm going to put it back to tidy size. That's funny to me. I like the idea that it's like a honey shrunk, I shrunk my kids kind of moment. He's like tiny, trying, and I'm going to make him tiny, tiny, actually. We're going to dunk him in the coffee. That's where he's going to live. There you go, buddy. Stay nice and warm in your own personal jacuzzi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's having a good time, and he's just conversing by himself. <laughs> Damn, Fuchan, you like Vox with your coffee? I mean, sure. The best part of waking up is some Vox in your folders, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Chrissy, though. I hope you had a happy birthday. Cataclysm. I always learn something new when you invoke Kalam. Thanks for the geometry goals that hyped up my day. Hope you're doing well and have a great day. Yeah, I got so many goals that I just did not deserve to get whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Don't know how. It was fun, though. Spicy coffee? I don't think it would be spicy. If anything, it would be meaty. I don't think there's any spice in that demon. Oh, he's still moving in there. He's enjoying it. I could turn him upside down and dunk him. Then you wouldn't see him moving. But then that might be a problem. Luther, British buff is slaying today. Your corner kick goes sick. Proves that your license is legal. What's it? And now I can go sleep in the forest. Hope you have fun in the forest. The sheep pile is huge in there now. Ever since we did the Noctix map, yeah, the sheep pile kind of took over that forest. It was fun, the Minecraft map. <laughs> I can't believe we could summon Confidants and Takadachi and 
uh, breast cadets and you guys and stargazers. It was so much fun. It'll be fine. You want me to do it? I can do it. You guys decide. <laughs> Vox coffee dunk. I can also do this. Wait, first I... Where is he? I'm here, Voxy. Get out of the coffee. It's just... No. Oh, maybe I can't do that with Voxy. Interesting. I can only do that with me. Did they get rid of that? <laughs> maybe someone was abusing it too much. Um, oh, there we go. One minute. <laughs> I finally remembered. Spitty Voxy. We could totally dunk him. I'm just saying. That's completely within our power to dunk him in the water. We could also turn him into a DJ thing. Wait. It's too bad I can't spin him and move him at the same time. I could. I could have him, like, roll down and fall off. Man. All I can do is spin. That's too distracting. Okay, he gets dunked in the coffee. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye, brother. Enjoy your drink. There we go. Dunk him for <laughs> He's a hair clip now? He can be. Enjoy your time in the forest, Luther. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Have a wonderful evening and get some good rest. He's going to drown. Nah, he'll just drink the coffee. He'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. We could plant him in one of the plants instead. That could also work. Eh. Yeah, he needs to grow taller. The fact that he wiggled when I planted him up there. <laughs> There you go. He's not drowning anymore. He's fine. <laughs> He's just growing bigger. I decided he needed to get taller. Ever since P.O. Chan appeared with his 190 CM self. <laughs> Vox spoon. Yeah, sure. He could be a spoon. <laughs> you both always talk about interesting stuff. It's really nice listening to you sharing opinions or even talking about funny stuff. You both are so based. Thank you, Vutsan. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, too. Yeah, I always have fun talking to Voxy. He's, like, similar to me in some ways and then completely different in other ones. But it's a lot of fun just to chill and chat with him. I always forget Pyochan is so big. Yeah, Pyochan big. Especially when I had him on the screen next to me. Even though I didn't have him for the right height kind of setting. Like, yeah, he's pretty damn big wide as well. Big shoulders. Vox's legs can be a pair of chopsticks. Fair. Fair. You need a new Chinese phrase now. I have no idea what that says. Let's see if I can grab that. Does this mean to like plant someone to make them grow? I really hope it does. I really hope that's a phrase. Weeding out seedlings to encourage growth. Great. There you go. <laughs> We're helping him to grow. We have planted him. And if he turns out to be a seedling, he shall be removed. We need to get only the tallest of the plants. Means the poor weeds to make them taller. That's what I figured, yeah. Get rid of the weeds, make the actual plants grow stronger. I thought it was like the seedlings in general. Getting rid of the small ones. Only having the big ones continue to grow. <laughs> What's Super Shared Archive 2? It felt like when you open a wiki page and you go to a random tangent. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite things to do. Is to just wiki search. Click on like all the links from page to page and just be like, hmm. I always bring it back to fucking stoicism, but pretty much. It's normally where I start at is like different philosophers and shit. I'm normally Googling like some Roman or ancient Greek person and I'm like, oh, they were taught by this person. Oh, they learned from this person. Oh, what did this person say? That's normally where I bump around from things. <laughs> but it's so much fun to go from page to page on Wikipedia. You learn so many stupid unrelated things. That's why I'm so good at, like, random factoids. I don't know anything that's actually useful. But you ask me a bunch of trivia, I normally do pretty good. So is Vox the plant or the weeds? But now he looks like an okay plant. I'm sure he'll grow bigger. I'm sure someday we'll be able to get a bigger 
pot for him and he'll be able to like take more space. It's definitely better than being in the coffee cup at least. <laughs> then you forgot what you were going to look up in the first place. Exactly. Exactly. You just end up learning a bunch of things you had no inclination on. Especially like back in the days when I had to do reports on Wikipedia. You'd like start looking up something about the American Revolution and then you'd be like 1200 pages away and you'd be like, Oh yeah, I still have a report to write. Whoops. <laughs> That's a thing I should have done. <laughs> Tsukishiro. Atsufu-chan. So much fun watching my two she's having fun. Brother bonding time. Thank you for the stream. Can't wait for more of your streams. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, next week it's going to be nothing but solo streams. So look forward to these ones while you can. Next week I'm 100% nothing but solo stream. Not a single collab. And the week after we'll probably do like one or two collabs a week maximum. But they will never take over like main things. Is the main thing. They'll never take over like my main... Well, they may take over my main timeline. But they'll never take over the things that I want to do in my timelines. <laughs> Wikipedia and TV tropes are great ways to turn time to liquid. Hell yeah. Kyo! Hi, Futan! See what for the stream today? Getting paid tomorrow, so I'll finally be able to buy my monitors. Let's go! Already bought my PC parts, and my BSF will help me build it. I'm so excited. Let's fucking go. That's awesome. Building your own PC is freaking awesome. But yeah, I hope you have fun with it. I hope it all goes well. I hope you're able to play whatever you want to play on it. <laughs> I could not live without my PC. They're so expensive, but man, it's such a nice feeling building your own one as well. I didn't build this one, but the last two before it, I did build. This one I had to like special order because I just really wanted to. What was it? I think it was when the 3090 first came out. No, 3080. 3090? It's one of them. Anyway, when it first came out and you had to like pre order them for like six months because everyone was stealing them to like crypto mine and shit. I was like the only way I could get one. I couldn't be like camping on Newegg every day. <laughs> Oh, man. It's a good PC. But yeah, building them is so much fun when you actually know how to do it. It's good. Good luck with everything. I hope it works well. And I hope your monitor doesn't explode like mine did. <laughs> Are you for turning the food funds cure? Cyanide. I love seeing the Lamb Brothers collab again. I'm currently doing a thesis this late and watching the Lamb Bros collab made me feel alive yet sleepy. <laughs> how both? <laughs> how both? But fair enough. Camping on new eggs, PTSD. Yeah, for real. Such devastation. Yeah. Your monitor exploded. Yeah, actually. My, I bought a 240 hertz really fancy monitor and it exploded like roughly just before the, um, just before the capture card. No, this is called the graphics driver did. Um, so yeah, I don't know what was up with that. If I connect it to like another PC, it just goes pure white now. Um, Thankfully, I was able to return it. I only had that for like two months. Remember, I was like, yo, I'm going to get so much better at Valorant now. I have a 240 hertz monitor. It lasted like three weeks. Honest to God. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was because of my graphics card, but I mean, it didn't work on other computers either at that point. So yeah, whatever was wrong with it was wrong with it. <laughs> Maybe it was Final Fantasy 14 as well. Maybe Final Fantasy 14 was just too powerful for anything. Monitor, graphics card, anything. Ugh. M Modo S. Yo, dude, have you watched the anime Asobi Asobase? Yes, I have. It's one of my favorite comedy anime. It has some of my favorite stupid fucking moments. <laughs> For one thing, I love the difference between the opening and the ending. The opening's so cute and adorable, and you're like, ah, oh, it's gonna be cute girls doing cute things. And then the ending's like pure heavy metal screamo shit. It's great. Um, but yeah, no, the comedy in that show is amazing. The facial expressions when everything, like the reactions. <laughs> so good and some of the jokes are just so over the top messed up and fucked up <laughs> i think the one that will always stay in my memory it's like the equivalent of the principal wrestling the deer to me in nichijo the equivalent to that in asobiaso base is the moment that they're playing in like a kiddie pool in the classroom and some of the water like drifts out outside and the principal is told that somebody peed herself and he has like the detective Conan moment of like, no, you have to check it to make sure. And goes ahead and like licks it off of his finger. He's <laughs> so disgusting. And then him sounding disappointed when he's like, you lied to me. This isn't pee. This is just water. <laughs> and then he visibly, like audibly hearing the fact that he was disappointed. Not, not angry, just disappointed. <laughs> I remember. I see so many people in chat being like, what the fuck? Asobi Asobase is a fucking trip. 
It's one of the funniest things you'll ever watch. It's also one of the wildest things you'll ever watch. He did a Connor. Pretty much. I also love that everybody's playing Detroit Become Human recently. That's such a good game. Piss King on screen. <laughs> I don't think he was disappointed in that. I think he was disappointed that the girls lied to him. <laughs> He's a good principal. He's a nice dude. He's not weird at all. It's just... He was just disappointed that they lied to him. <laughs> but that was one of the funniest moments ever. But that, that show has a lot of really funny moments. The baby scene is also what? Yeah, the baby who's like a reincarnated mafia boss. Oh my god. I actually rewatched that like... God, more than a year ago now. I just realized I was like, I rewatched that just before I debuted. So it's like, oh yeah, I rewatched that more than a year ago now. God damn. Time flies. But yeah, it's such a good show. Howdy, futan, futan. Can I buy a cup of Milord coffee with a swan and a half steamed bun? Um, we're a little out of swans right now. A little tight, unfortunately. Steamed buns we don't have either. But may I offer you a um, plant? We have this lovely me plant up here. Let me just. I could offer you this lovely me plant up here. In fact, let's see if he's grown up yet. Let's see. Wait, that didn't even work. You want this? <laughs> Foxy's shaking his head. Foxy's like, no, brother. Don't sell me. Let me go. Brother, no. <laughs> okay, he's not ready. He's still baby. He... Sorry, guys. He's not ready to be sold yet. He... He's stuck in the plant. Pew, 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 pew. This is fine. Bloop. There we go. <laughs> the plant. <laughs> Let him cook longer. Yeah, he needs to get taller first. It's okay. He'll be bigger someday. Water him with coffee? That I can't do. I could water him with my water bottle. Look kind of weird. I can't even water him. <laughs> nope, nope. I just hold my water bottle and be like, hey, you want some of this? Too bad. Um, ba -bum. But no, no, my lord, coffee for you, unfortunately. Thank you for donating the food funds, though. You can continue to look at his legs. That's all you can do. Use your spray bottle. Oh. You could spray him. Just seems kind of rude, though. There we go. Now he's nice and hydrated. That will improve his growing chances. Maybe. Maybe. We won't have to weed him out. <laughs> God damn it. Now I kind of want a scissors asset. <laughs> it would only ever be used for this one single thing, which would just be pruning Voxy. Cutting off the hair. <laughs> Eric Emerson. With Vox and coffee, now you can say Vox's fashion tastes better. Wouldn't it be Vox's fashion tastes are better? Hmm. Grammar's a bitch, unfortunately. <laughs> not, not bad. Not, not, not bad. But, oh, damn. Close, close. What kind of AU is that? A terrible one. Is this Ian Blanc? Oh. <gasps> It might be Ian Blanc. This might be the beginning of Ian Blanc. He grows people too. Nah, that's too supernatural. He's just a serial killer. Nah, no growing people. But he does... Oh. This could be Ian Blanc, like, you know, fertilizing his... Yeah, maybe Voxy's not the one that's growing. Maybe he's the fertilizer for the plant up there. We got it. That's some body horror there. Yeah. That's some end of, like, the Enders Game series shit. Oh, man. Rio Rose. Oh, Salam Rose. I love listening to you boys during my shift. It was hard not to smile at everything you guys said. Much love, Fuchan. I buy you. Thank you, and I hope you had a good day at work. I hope you enjoyed whatever you were up to. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a wonderful evening. And Joyce Lee. I'm so nervous and can't sleep right now because I'll start to work for a new company this morning. How can I sleep during... I hope I can sleep during Azatsu time. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot more calm than the gameplay part, so hopefully you were able to fall asleep during this. Congratulations on the new job. I hope everything goes well. That's super exciting. Good luck with everything, and yeah, feel free to go to sleep right now. That's all good. Ian Plant can have a body farm. I think that is a thing, or maybe I'm tripping. A body farm isn't what it sounds like, though. <laughs> a body farm is one of those things that, like, the FBI do, where they want to see, like, how long it takes bodies to break down in different situations 
So yeah, there is actually an FBI body farm. They have like a bunch of different cadavers, carcasses that they do different things with. They'll like bring them into the sun or they'll put them in water or they'll surround them by mushrooms and they'll see how they decompose, like what kind of things make a body decompose in different ways. Um, Yeah, very useful for them, for like catching serial killers and also learning about how bodies decompose so they can better know like how long a body has been in different conditions and stuff. They do it for animals too? I thought that was for farming organs. No, an organ farm's a different thing. Farming organs is just like, you know, it's a different thing. Like a body farm's different. Body farm is a thing that they actually do. Most unis have them as well. I didn't know that. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> yes, I too watched Hannibal. I actually learned that from the other show, um, Criminal Minds. <laughs> I used to love Criminal Minds, man. I love Shamar more. Now he's on SWAT. Man, when Criminal Minds had like Shamar Moore and God, the other like super smart guy. Those were the best seasons. When both of them left the show, that's when I was done with the show. It was such a good series, man. Criminology is fascinating. Mario Mario. Ba 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 ba. Atsufu chan. Thank you for the stream. Atsufu chan. <laughs> and yes, I'm trying to speak in human language properly. Thank you, Maru Maru. I'm impressed. You did a very good job. Thank you for the translation. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Well, oh, dang, FBI groups. Matthew Gray Gobbler. Yes, thank you. Who was also in 500 Days of Summer. He did not really get into many shows. It's a shame. I feel like he was a good actor. I don't know what he got. Maybe he just made enough money that he was just like, fuck you, I'm chill now. <laughs> Either way, he, he was fun in the things he did. Um, When the forest lags. I hope the forest didn't lag. That's a problem. Then you guys would all be broken. Oh no. Resetting my comment grabber. <laughs> there we go. Bum, bum, bum. Where was I up to on Super Chat? Did that one. Why did it reset? Oh no. This is fine. Miso, thank you for donating the food funds. This one's in Japanese. Let's see if I can read it. Koda. Oh. Kodabo? Was that supposed to be Kodabo? Tasukaru. Ganbare. Ganbare. Ah, Kodabo Tasukaru. Ganbare. I say gold and I imagine it. It was Ko. I fucked up. <laughs> I read the Hirokata the wrong word. <laughs> Thank you for turning the food funds me so. Arigato gozaimasu. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Yeah, it's collab. Yeah, it's collab. Tasukaru. Ganbare. Thank you for the collab and good luck. Claudine, so your performance looks pretty good, actually. You play this game to prove to everyone you can drive? No, that just kind of worked out. The handling is very good in this game. I'm telling you, Cyberpunk has, well, to be fair, I had one car in Cyberpunk. I never upgraded my car. There were so many things you could do, like buying new cars and upgrading them and all kinds of things. I got pretty good at the motorbike. But yeah, Cyberpunk, the handling on those cars was not good. Rocket League was fine, and to be fair, I was literally allowed to plow into people in this game. So your license is legal, sir? Of course it is. I've told you many times. I am a licensed individual. And yes, you may notice that my license actually expired in 2022. I am not going to update it. It is fine. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you may notice that it, <laughs> that it actually was only legally binding until the end. oh no it's 22 22 see i'm fine i've got 200 years in fact i'm completely fine and it's a class a license meaning i can drive whatever i want that's what that means right we're good we're good Niji sandy driving license nobody will ever be able to stop me from driving again it's a legal license oh but i need to watch criminal minds again yeah you do it was a great show the early seasons were amazing Especially when they were based off of real serial killers as well. And you could like look into that and research it. That shit's always fascinating to me. No renewal. No renewal needed. I've got 200 years apparently. I genuinely thought it had said 2022. <laughs> it's 2222. I've got to ask this. Have you read the manhua Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint and Lord of the Mysteries? No. Lord of the Mysteries. I'm... Wait. Manhua? I thought Lord of the Mysteries. Am I imagining that? I thought that was a web novel rather than a manhwa. 
and I got addicted recently to villainess reincarnation. <laughs> there are so many of those for some reason. Wondering if you've read any. No, the only ones of like the villainess reincarnation. I've watched a couple of the Japanese anime. Um, I watched the one with Bakarina, uh, where she gets reincarnated as the bad guy in an Otsume game. Um, I didn't really watch any of the other ones, actually. But yeah, those are fun. I can't believe that's become a genre. That so many people have enjoyed those. <laughs> Macarena was great, yeah. The fact that she accidentally won every single character in that show. Who do you guys ship Macarena with? Personally, main protagonist for me. I like the blonde girl and her together. Is it a subgenre? I don't I don't really know. Like it's it's technically just still Isekai. But I mean, there's just been so many of like, I got reincarnated as the villainess, and now I have to blah 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 blah. There's so many of those stories now. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Good. Good. <laughs> Katarina and Maria, same. Alan. Alan is pretty cute as well. Alan is pretty adorable when it comes to the guys. He's he's a sweet little baby boy. Those names will sound the same to me. <laughs> they really do. I forget, but they were like... I feel like there were two anime last season that were both like reincarnated as the villainess. Da 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 da. Like whatever. Oh man. But yeah, no, I've heard of Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. I've never tried it yet. I hope Maria wins meets you. Good. Do you want me to look it up? The Bakarina one's at least pretty good. Let me see what that one's actually called. Let me just Google Bakarina. I'm sure that'll bring it up. <laughs> My next life is a villainess. All routes lead to doom. There you go. Katharina Kleiss. That was a funny one. And that was the first one I'd seen of those. Like, now there's so many. Like, the thing about that was it was so trope-breaking. It did, like, all the Otome tropes, and then it, like, played them off for comedy and fucked around with them. I can't imagine the other ones will do that. I wonder how they differentiate themselves. Taming the final boss is so good. That was the one from last season, wasn't it? I, I reincarnated as a villainess, so I decided to tame the final boss. I'm a villainess, so I'm taming the final boss. God, the names for these are all so similar as well. Oh my god. I didn't like the character designs in this one. That's what turned me off of this one. The bad guy looked kind of sexy. The main girl, boring as shit. Um, Eileen Lauren Dolchich's wedding plans have been suddenly... Nope, I'm done. I've read enough. <laughs> I've read enough. But yeah, they all have similar names like that. Who's the bad guy? Um, I'm assuming it's the demon prince looking guy with long purple hair. Swing a picture. Nah, you have to Google it. I can't do that illegally. Way too close to the gray area. Villains always be looking sexy? Yeah. That's the problem though. If they don't make the main character look sexy, it's just not funny as well. You have to balance it. You have to have sexiness in all directions. There's one GL that's pretty popular. It got an anime recently. Is that another villain? What? <laughs> no way. I'm okay, yeah. Another person said, I'm in love with a villainess is a Yuri one. I'm in love with a villainess. Let's get an anime. Oh shit. Those character designs are pretty good. Uh, light novel, manga, novel. Anime television series. Oh, it's scheduled. It hasn't come out yet. Sweet. I might try that then. Um, Watashi no Ushi wa Akuyaku Reijo. An ordinary office worker is overworked to death. <laughs> yeah, welcome to life. <laughs> Suddenly finds herself reincarnated as Ray Taylor, a heroine of her favorite Otome game, Revolution. However, Ray has no interest in the game's three original romance routes with the Bawa Kingdom's princes. Instead, she sets her heart on Claire Francois, the game's main antagonist, using her knowledge of the game's events that are yet to come. Ray. <laughs> Ray tries to make Claire come. No, Ray tries to give Claire a happy. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm currently petrified. This is fine. I'm going to be petrified for a little while. Things have gone a little wrong. <laughs> I can't fix this for a little bit. So we're just going to stay petrified. <laughs> oh, my God. That ear shattering scream. That had to have been Enna. Ow. My brain. Karma got you. What was that? I have to imagine that was Enna. That was definitely someone. And it kind of blew out my eardrums. Ow. Everything breaks at the same time. This is fine. 
question is, does she have the balls to come back again? If she does, I'm ready for her. Anyway, <laughs> that series looks interesting. I need to stop saying in collab rooms. I invite this to myself. Not Pomo again? That didn't sound like Pomo. That sounded like Enna to me. Thought I was in a fucking horror. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave the collab room. We'll, we'll be safe. Oh my god. Nobody even admitted who it was that time. Never know. I'll never know. Anyway. Okay. One more super chat to read. And I'm going to read uh, Streamlabs in the next stream. You stopped moving? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How was it? There it is. Dogo Lingo. Lamborghini, Lamborghini drifting while doing film talks. <laughs> it's beautiful, thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought actually most of the discussion was going to be about, like film and filming and like future things. Maybe Millie. It could have been Millie. It sounded more like Enna to me. But it definitely had that kind of like, yeah, the gremlin tone to it. It sounded like someone who had like a very high pitched voice, but then was doing like a, ah, like low pitched growly kind of noise. Could be either. You're breathing without moving, as I should be. I'm cool like that. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Dogo Lingo. Thank you for the huge Aka Super. We're going to head out for today. Um, What am I doing tomorrow? I know it's a late stream, but I don't remember which. Um, uh, find out the hard way. Monopoly at 8 p.m. EST. So I am not going to have a viewpoint for that one because that's one of the ones where the online just breaks. So only one person can stream that one and control that one. <laughs> so that is going to be on Rosemi's channel. So we're going to play Rosemi, uh, Monopoly with Rosemi, Pomu, and Pio Chan at 8 p.m. EST on Rosemi's channel. So yeah, look forward to that, guys. And with that said, I'm going to head out for the day. Thank you so much for being here. I had a ton of fun playing Rocket League with Voxy. It's just a good time all around. Oh, someone admitted to it. <laughs> it was Anna. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, she said sorry. Was that loud? <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. I thought it was you. I wasn't sure. Don't worry. My fault for sitting in the collab room. <laughs> you can't trust the collab rooms, man. Twice in a row. Two streams in a row where we've left the collab room on and we've just got an ear blasted. I need to stop doing that. It's scary. <laughs> with that said, with Anna having done a jump scare and everything, we're going to move on and head out for the day. <laughs> Tomorrow, we shall be back for Monopoly. Friendships will be tested. Pain will be had. And as always, I will do the normal thing of saying goodbye to membership. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Do not be led astray in my confidence. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. And as usual on the way out, I'd like to say a special thank you to everyone who joined the membership today. Everyone who donated to the sheep pile, everyone who joined for the first time, and everybody who rejoined the membership, including Satsuki122, Sarah, Luthier, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, Lorax Jun, thank you so much for the huge 20 gifted membership, thank you so much. Astra, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Marineth, Psycho Pearl, Kami, who joined the membership last night after I timed them out for saying soccer instead of football. <laughs> Milk Tea, Soma Luna, Nito, Sora, Boom, Lem. Oh, Lem, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Sorry, I didn't count that properly. Elfon. Kuma. Ayu Fuju. Peony Shum. Kuiting. Freya Vanadis. Masato. Chune. 
Cam Girl, Anastasi, Barbara Bunn, Ashley Boring, Lunasa, the Sleepy Sheep, Kirobane, Chu Fei under the high tong tree. Oh, beautiful imagery and a good memory. Goddamn, first time they met. WQ, roses blooming. Bu Chu, oh, Bu Ai Chu Ping Ho. I remember that name. As soon as I see the Bu Ai Chu, I'm like, I remember this sentence. <laughs> Craven, Ritsuka, Sabrina Saberhagen. Shinru, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Ha Hyun. Kindred Anon. Alphetic Rose. Nan Nan Hu. Lily, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Jia Min. K Pancake Roll. Skadachu. Kyrie of the Stars. Isaiah Ville. It is. Kathy. Wiko, Luna Tensai, Trisha Moy, Delancey, Caliburst, Mei Shui, Pamis Villion, Nauto, Avis, Luo, Renshaw, Oxile, Moon Pearl, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, Lord Alao, Ei, Stephanie Wijaya, Gauze, Aldines, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Doggo Lingo, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership on top of the super chat. Thank you so much. My name is Ellie. Thank you so much for the 5 gifted membership. Maru Maru, thank you so much for the 5 gifted membership. Aokitea, Tikos, Misha, Anya, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Ray, Rinrin, Awarian, Penyan, Judin Hope, Peach, Sienna, Vivian, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Wa Chan, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Yume Haya, Kyrie of the Stars, Rosette, Reese Umbra, Jam Peach, and finally, Madu Madu. And I'll read this final donation as well. <laughs> Lorax Jung. So sorry, so late to say happy anniversary to Fuchan and Confidants. For those who get the membership gifts, don't forget to read the chat rules. Have fun, and I'm out. Aww. Lorax Jung, thank you again for the 20 gifted membership. That's so sweet of you. So glad we've been here for a year. Noctics have been such an amazing time. Definitely wouldn't be here without them, and I wouldn't be here without any of you as well. Thank you so much for the go donated membership. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for the sweet message as well. I hope everybody has a wonderful evening, and let's see if I can send you guys anywhere today. Bum, ba -bum. I can. I can send you to Selene, who's currently playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Cool. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Do not be led astray, my confidants. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. For Monopoly, where we're going to make everybody else mold and be a dick. We're going to be a full dick this time. It's going to be great. Goodbye. My goal in Monopoly is to make everyone angry. Even if I'm losing, I'm going to piss them off. Look forward to that. Bye-bye.